You on? You on, bro? What's the deal? It's your boy, love one and hate one in the building with your boy, True City World, man. Back at y'all with another radio call slash live stream. We got so much shit we got to talk about. It's not even funny. Let's talk boxing. Yeah. You already know what it is. It's your boy, True City World. In the building with love one, hate one. In a drop of classic live stream Saturday afternoon. You know how we do. Yep. Oh shit. It's cold out here in Cali, so I got a little cold, y'all. But you know me. I don't edit shit. You already know how that shit go. All right, bro. So so, so what, what let's build this house. Let's build this house. Yeah, buddy. You know, we gotta warm up, y'all. You know, we first get on this mug. We kinda slow, you know what I mean? But we gonna jab, 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 you know what I mean? Then we gonna the left, we're gonna hit up with the right. You know what I mean? It's night night. You feel me? GGG, you know what I mean? How you gonna do Canelo in the third fight? You know what I mean? But uh, what you wanna start off with, man? No, this shit finna be juicy, yo. Um we got a whole bunch of shit we gotta discuss. We could talk we could talk a little bit about that Spence versus um Errol Spence. No, nah, I said I'm tripping. You guys don't edit shit. Errol Spence versus Mike Garcia. We could talk about that fight for a little bit. And then we could talk about the Mayweather versus Tension fight that's in a couple of days. And yeah, I heard buddy. that I heard that, that we're not gonna be able to see the fight in America, but I just have a feeling it's gonna get leaked some way somehow. We could definitely discuss that. And will it be leaked? I also heard that even if Mayweather lose, it won't be on his resume. It won't count. So which means even if he wins, you won't see it. And if he loses, you won't see it neither. Only people that can see it is the Japanese people. So what do you think about this shit? Uh, man, she wants to talk to Mike Garcia, Earl Spence. I just made a video on that, man. And um, I just think uh, it's going to be a real good fight, man. I think uh, Mike Garcia got a good plan, game plan. He feel like Lamont, Lamont Peterson, Lamont, Lamont Peterson fought Earl Spence. Lamont Peterson figured that he had to fight an inside fight to beat Earl Spence. He knew Earl Spence was going to walk him down, chase him down, and eventually take him down. He figured that. He know this young boy. He sparred with him when he was young. He feel like he could just outdo him. He went out there and tried to go toe to toe, and that wasn't my my Peterson style. Right. But in a close fight, I could got see a punch hard. He got them short ass arms. You know what I mean? So when he get in the inside, man, he knock it. You know what I mean? And he got the inside game. And he gonna make Earl Spence cover up. And when Earl Spence cover up in high guard, he gonna try to throw three four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten punches on. I, you mean, know what I mean, I could definitely see that. And but we also have to ask ourselves: Has Errol Spence ever fought anyone that's gonna make him respect their power? Yeah, some people say Kell Brook, but if you ask me, I think Kell Brook does hit hard. But I don't feel like Kell Brook is very confident in that fight because you got to have confident, you got to have a lot of confidence to throw a good punch as well. And when you're constantly thinking about injuries and it's a loss on the back of your mind, you're not throwing your punches with all of the conviction on it like Mikey Garcia can do. He's going to fight with confidence. Mm -hmm. He's going there to stop Errol Spence. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Errol Spence, Mikey Garcia is going in this fight to stop Errol Spence. You don't go, you're not thinking about going to Texas and going to go fight yeah. a champion and to fight a champion on his home turf. By winning the decision, you know you have to knock this dude out. So, I mean, this boy, the way Mike Garcia be talking about knocking the man out, man, sounds crazy. But what you know, at the end of the day, who gave Floyd Mayweather the hardest fight? It was to me. To me, one of my Floyd Mayweather the hardest fights was Chico Madonna. You feel me? Yep. He gave him a harder fight than anybody. He did. Way hotter than Canelo. Way hotter than Canelo. You know what I mean? And who trained him? Robert Garcia. Robert Garcia is good with strategy. If they feel that they can exactly. give Earl Spence problems, man, that is scary, man. These boys laughing, scary. talking about stopping Earl Spence, bro. Yeah. They didn't even say they was going to stop AB. They ain't said they was going to stop 
Robert Easton Jr., they ain't said they were going to stop nobody, bro. This is, they said they finna stop this man, dog. No? This Good shit point. is spooky, man. This, this shit is it's like too spooky, yo. Be this honest, motherfucker, man. and he hit hard as hell, man. But see, Earl will miss some punches just to land. And when Earl land, That's it's like a, a bomb, man. You feel me? So, you know, it just can he go 12 rounds and uh, make an Earl miss and get hit. And but Earl hit, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt. And, you know, I don't know, man. It's, 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 it's crazy, man. It's, it's very exciting. It's very exciting because it's spooky. It's like going to go watch a scary movie on on Halloween or something, yo. I'm telling you, man. This fight right here is perfect for a Halloween fight because this shit is majorly spooky. Like, I don't know. Like, Mikey Garcia, I feel he got something up his sleeve. And we know Errol Spence for stopping, guys. But my thing with Mike Garcia, I think he's going to show that he could take Errol Spence's punch, man. Because I don't see Errol Spence just flattening I don't see Errol Spence just knocking Mike Garcia out cold. Because I see Robert nah. Garcia stop. I see Robert Garcia stopping the fight early before Errol Spence will have a chance to really hurt Mikey. And that's another fact. Robert shout stop out to uh, shout out to Kingdom of Boxing, man. What's up, man? Kingdom of Boxing on here, uh, love one. Your enemy of the year right there, man. But, any, but, it, but anyways, like I was saying though. <laughs> But um, yeah, I feel that I feel that Errol Spence do have a you know Mike Garcia have a shot in this fight, and I feel like he has a bigger shot than a lot of people give him credit for. What do you take on the Q? Yeah, facts, yeah. facts. Shut up. What up, X? What up, X? I you know I just you know like you said I, I don't nobody really give him credit. I really don't even see. I really don't see him winning. I can't be. I gotta keep it honest with myself. But you know when I just I gotta try to. It, 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 it's interesting for me to try to look at the Lamont Peterson, look at Earl Spence fights and see what Mikey got to see to see. And the most I can see is in that Kale Brook fight. How Kale Brook stayed in, smothered Earl Spence, caught Earl Spence. You know what I mean? As soon as Earl Spence throw that little jab, he was coming in. You know what I mean? You got to be first. You know what I mean? You got to make Earl miss that jab, and then you attack. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, and exactly. Lamont and Peterson Earl's... was coming in just Bended over and stuff, man. And he was just trying to, you know what I mean, scrap. I don't know why he was in that fight. I'm starting to ask myself, did Lamont Peterson go in that fight for the money? Or did he go in that fight to win? Because Lamont Peterson, he didn't give me no type of, he didn't give me no type of feeling that he went in that fight to win. He like, he kind of laid down to me, man. I love you, Lamont Peterson. Good fighter. You got good skill. It did look like it was like a... I like guess man was went out there to make Earl Spence look good though, man. I ain't gonna front. Yeah, you feel me? It just it was like it wasn't the right game plan. It was just like what are you doing? But you know, maybe like I said, it's the only strategy of beating. And you gotta think about it. Mike Garcia ain't no Floyd Mayweather distance type of fighter like that. You know what I mean? Who's gonna bounce the play the ropes and stuff like that? You know what I mean? That's the kind of fighter yeah. Lamont is. You know what I mean? Maybe mm -hmm. Lamont thought the only strategy. It's like Mike Garcia said, the only strategy is to get up in there and smother Earl Spence and get up in there and stay as close as you can and, and beat him to the think, uh, but, but, okay, even if that was the strategy, once you found out that strategy was not working, Lamont Peterson got enough experience to know you got to have a plan B and a fucking plan C. So he should have went to plan B. He's, he's tried to stick to plan A, and that shit went terrible for him. Right. So... That's all I'm saying about right. that shit. And getting back to Mike Garcia. Mike Garcia seen something in that fight. So maybe he's seen, like, may maybe he's seen I could smother L. Spence better than Lamont Peterson because Mike Garcia hits way harder than Lamont Peterson. Facts. Right. So. Facts. And yeah, he got, he got way better inside game than Lamont Peterson. Exactly. You know, he's just way smaller. But at the end of the day, Lamont Peterson was should have stayed at 140. You know what I mean? He should have never moved up because he didn't have enough power to be at 147. Hard hitter going in there, fighting Earl Spence the way he went in there for Earl Spence. You know what I mean? It was horrible. You know what I mean? But hey, what other choice did he have? If he could stay at the back foot, Earl Spence still would have caught him because Earl Spence would have had a little bit more air behind his punches. And his punches would have been a little harder. So he knew if he stayed in close, 
you know what I mean, because Smother gonna punch him a little bit, but that just wasn't enough, man. Earl Earl got the inside game. Earl got all the game he need. And you're gonna have to make Earl respect you. That's the only thing about Earl. Earl is a warrior. Earl went over to Kell Brook Country and did his thing. He went and went to war. Kell Brook was popping his ass. Kell Brook could he could have gotten Kell Brook the first five rounds. Just being biased, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, of course, but, of course. But, but, man, Tan Earl Spence ass up. But Earl but Spence not... stayed in there. He took the beat. He kept coming in. He kept doing his thing. He ain't let nothing stop him from doing what he had. His plans was to doing that fight. He came in there and did what he did, man. He slowed that man down. Kept hitting him in the body. And even though he was getting caught, Earl was getting caught. But see, the thing about Earl, when he get in the heavier division, he gonna have to work on that defense. You can't be getting caught with them clean shots that Kale Brook was catching him with. Yeah, and then the thing about it is, man, I'm telling you, you can argue that Mike Garcia could be more skilled than Kell Brook, and that's an argument because Kell Brook do got a lot of skill too, and he showed that fight in the Errol Spence fight. But I gotta say this though, and I don't give a fuck because I ain't no Spence dick rider. If your best win is over a Kell Brook that's not a hundred percent, that's not a good look though, man. Mike Garcia. <laughs> No, matter of fact, Mike Garcia gonna be his best win though. Where Kell Brook win was it? Was it a was just a title. It was a long time ago. He haven't, he got a title. haven't had a real good fight since Kell Brook. See, like you said, Lamont Peterson and, and was in no competition, and El Capo was in no competition. So Earl Spence been about two years before he had since he had a good ass fight. You know uh -huh. what I mean? So this is a test. This is to show us what. Earl Spence got, you know what I mean? This is only going to make Earl Spence better. If Mikey Garcia do good against Earl Spence, and people say Earl Spence is a hype job, it's only going to make it better for Earl Spence at the end of the day. You feel me? Because more people will be ready to test him. More fighters will be ready to jump in that ring and fight him. You know what I mean? Nowadays, don't nobody want to get in the ring with him because they seen that battle and the wear and tear he got and, he, and how far his stamina could take him and how he act like the 11th round is the first round. They like, I'm ready for that right now. Nah, fuck that. I don't want to do that right now. I'll do that later. You know what I mean? But, and we have to say this though, Q. We have to say it's the hype too. It's a little bit of hype too. I mean, if everybody ain't talking, no hype though, the dude is a no, no, no. the dude is a, a beast, no, bro. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about he's hype. I'm not saying he's hype. It's a difference, Q. Listen to me. I'm not saying Errol Spence is hype. I'm saying it can be the hype when people is constantly hearing about how hard this dude hit in sparring, what he's doing to Adrian Broner, Floyd Mayweather in sparring. That adds to that, too. You be like, man, fuck that. I'm going to let somebody else go through it first. And Mikey Garcia was the one. So I can't wait to see that fight. I might be ringside, maybe, because I'm talking about going to Dallas, making a trip out there. But that's maybe. But let me tell y'all yeah. this, man. That's a spooky ass fight right there. It's spooky. Well, you need to hit them. Uh, you need to get down there and holler at man. Pack y'all, man. Here in LA, where you at, man? You gotta go down there and holler at them, man. We gotta get love one, hate one to these fights, man. You know what I mean? So, uh, love one, hate one. Yo ass gonna start. We gonna start a cash app, man. Y'all gonna have to donate to my dog, man. He in LA, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. That's that's Sponsor right there. love one, hate one, man. You feel me? He been doing this shit for a long time. He love boxing, man. You gotta support these niggas who love boxing, man. You know what I mean? Cause that love one hey, love boxing more than me. I just like the elite fights. I ain't really got the energy to watch these other coming niggas like that because I feel like once they finally get there, they gonna start acting like Sean Point and, and Keith Thurman. You know what I'm I mean? So, you know, heads, yo. Yeah, yeah, you know. I gotta be motivated. Little baby, because I was a little ass baby. Yeah. I was boxing. But we gotta get boxing. you to these. We we gotta get you to these fights, ain't LA though, huh? for real, man. I'm doing this thing. Everybody gonna get everybody donate to your channel. We got your show ass, you know, fucking fights in LA, man. Yeah. That's where it's YouTube, at. You at and, and YouTube, I know y'all be listening. So stop. Let me monetize my videos and stop playing. Let's let bygones be bygones for my old channel. Stop doing me like that. But it's all good. Right. Shout out, no. shout out to Tony Bangers. Kingdom of Boxing still in the building. Shout out to Hundred Percent hey. X. You know I, what I mean? Hey Q City, ask him. <clears throat> are we sounding clear? We sound clear. Anybody hear me? My mic up. Yes, I think it's better now. I, I had the mic down by my chest. I ain't have it. I ain't have it at the right position. But uh, uh -huh. yeah, man. 
So, uh, what do you think about this Floyd Mayweather versus Ten Sheen? Floyd Mayweather, like, man, you know, I don't care if I lose a win. I ain't trained for this, man. It's only three rounds. I plan to get a fan's action. You know what I mean? So, what do you think about it? All right, let me go ahead and say my piece. What I think about it is, first of all, I'm not too interested in the fight to begin with because the boy can't kick. So it's not giving me that feeling. Scarbage, I know what I'm talking about, that it don't give me that uh, feeling. Yeah. So if it, if it would if he would have added some kicks, it would have gave me that feeling. But the fact is no kicks involved. The only thing that's intriguing about this fight is that old boy is 20 years younger than Floyd and old boy is fast, but all his main knockout power come out of his kicks. So, and we know Floyd Mayweather has a chin. So I'm like, what can old boy really does? And my other concern about this fight is I'm hearing you can only see the fight in Japan and it won't be aired out here in America or the UK. So, so my thing about that is I'm wondering like is somebody going to, going to leak the fight or what? Well, you better, better, better watch your show. It'll be on YouTube with somebody by the next day. Yeah, I know somebody's gonna be able to leak it, but another thing is too, rather Floyd loses or wins, it won't be on his record. So if the if let's say a boy knock out Floyd, he's still gonna be what, fifty one and oh, fifty and oh, whatever his record is right now. He's not gonna it's not gonna be tainted on his record. And I feel that's some bullshit right there too. Floyd, Floyd might be going over there to, you know what I mean, lay down. You know what I mean? So that so that rising and Mayweather for much they probably got a big plan, you know what I mean, to take over the sport of uh MMA, you know what I mean? So you never know, man, because Floyd over there for a reason. But uh, I think I think the boy's gonna beat the shit out of this young boy. The boy too small, like you said, the boy can't kick, he has no chance. But in Japan, you know, I think Floyd probably make a side bet. You know what I mean? I think from Japan, people really, really got their they money on their guy. They think he could be for it. You know what I mean? So, oh hell, oh hell, oh hell, yeah. That's it. it's gonna be a lot of gambling going on. You know what I mean? Mhm. Mm Another thing is that for Floyd is it's a lot of people in Japan, believe it or not, that do not know Floyd Mayweather. So they think he probably just another bum with a, with an undefeated tatter record. Believe it or not, mm -hmm. it's some people in Japan that don't know Mayweather. Mm -hmm. So probably, you, I don't know, man. Everybody probably know Floyd, though. No, nah, everybody know Floyd. Don't get it twisted, but I'm not gonna say yeah, everybody. Right right I'm not gonna say everybody in Japan, but don't get it twisted. It's a lot of Japanese boxing fans. I'm, I'm sure that's gonna let their people know that oh, this guy Floyd Mayweather got the best defense, and you know, tell them all the good, the pros and cons about Floyd Mayweather. But oh, Floyd Mayweather gonna look online. Shit, they're gonna look online and see Floyd get there and know they're gonna they, they know who Floyd is. But like you said, tension is they stop. Tension is the up and coming young, undefeated Bruce Lee over there. You know what I mean? They feel like right. he's the best ever. You know what I mean? They feel like he's a prodigy. They think he's gonna give Floyd Mayweather plenty of problems. So, you know, it's gonna be plenty of money for the money team. They're gonna go over there and cash out. Floyd ain't gonna announce how much money he's gonna make because Taxes and all that shit. They're gonna, they're gonna be some under the table. This is some real. It's a money move. And I think uh, this is just to get warmed up for the Manny Pacquiao. I'm starting to really think that Floyd gonna come back and fight Manny Pacquiao after this fight. This is just to warm him up because the Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, that's what I, I do. Adrian Bryan, like I think he is. He gonna look like a young Manny Pacquiao, and the hype is gonna be all around him again. And um, gonna be questionable if Chief Thurman gonna try to fight him, Yanni Garcia. I mean the world is wide open for Manny Pacquiao. Now you say uh say 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 Mikey Garcia win a decision against Earl Smith. He got the Manny Pacquiao fight. You know what I mean? It's so much with Manny yeah. Pacquiao. Yeah. That's most definitely real shit though. But Floyd might just be getting ready for that fight, man. Or Floyd to fight like you said, Floyd to fight A B. And that will be a fight, like you said in the last video. That'd be a fight that everybody wanna see. Uh-huh. And Q Q um I was gonna say. Damn, I was, uh, damn fuck. I left my head. Oh yeah, that, the, the Floyd what if Floyd Mayweather loses attention though? <laughs> 
They, they, we, they, 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 you feel me? It ain't no kind of fight. It's exhibition. So you can, it's like a rap battle. You know what I mean? Nobody knows who won. The fans up to the fans to say he won and say he lost. Ain't gonna be no judge cards and nothing like that. It's just some fun shit. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, what's, what, I don't know how they gonna, I don't know how they gonna do that. Like you said, they gonna they gonna announce the winner. But Floyd's gonna have to attack early. Hell yeah, no, but no, shit. Floyd, Floyd know what to do to get the W. But I'm just saying, if tension just somehow wins, it might be we might be able to see a tension versus <laughs> Adrian Brown or playing. No, a tension versus Pacquiao. I think that's gonna be another man, mega tension, fight. Tension versus... too small, man. Tension too small, man. He too that? small for Floyd. I mean, I, 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 I just can't stand. I, I can't stand him being Floyd in a boxing match. Maybe if he was able to kick, but with, okay. with boxing, man, no chance. Let's uh, answer some of these questions. Hunter X, I see you, Hunter X. He said, what's good, my brothers? Keep doing that real boxing. Peterson felt that raw power and folded. Facts. Facts. Hunter X says, Spence is the real Triple G. Um, Spence is Triple G. with a. You could say he's the, the new Triple G, but Triple G was being ducked at once upon a time. And Errol Spence is no longer getting ducked. Like Terrence Crawford told Errol Spence, how are you getting ducked and I'm chasing you? Say it again, Terrence Crawford. Right. <laughs> Tone bangers, Tone up. bangers. I see you. I see you, Tone bangers. Well, hey, but hold on, man. Let's, let's keep it one hundred, man. Your boy, Terrence Crawford, was not chasing Earl Spence. Earl Spence went to the fight where Terrence Crawford was at. Terrence Crawford don't come to PBC fight. Earl Spence can go to ESPN fight, a Danza fight. You feel me? It don't matter who's doing the card, Rock Nation, whoever. Earl Spence can go. Q, I want to hear that Crawford shit, man. It, it, it's Crawford ways is around all that shit. He can't go past that, man. Man, so, I, no, I heard you was at the um, last it's fight. It's ways around all that shit. Money, money goes. Money is power, yo. It's ways around that. I'm just saying, like Earl Spence is chasing Terrence Crawford at the time. Earl Spence went to his fight and ran up on Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford. Saw Earl Spence and was like, oh, you in my city? Oh, what's up then? You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you know, like you said, Terrence Crawford got it. Terrence Crawford say how you, how I'm chasing you, how you a big a boogeyman and I'm chasing you. Well, after Terrence Crawford fight, they asked Terrence Crawford who he wanted to fight next. He said, everybody. He didn't say Earl Spence. We had to get at Terrence Crawford head to make him start calling out Earl Spence. Before that, he wasn't okay. even calling out okay. Earl Spence. That, that's true. But like Terrence Crawford, he did say that a while ago. But even if that is true, Terrence Crawford made a great point. Keith Thurman is the man to beat at 147 at that time. At that time now. Keith Thurman is not so, the I mean, man to beat. Man, Keith, Thur Keith Thurman was holding two titles, bro. How wasn't he the man to beat at that time now, Q? At that time. Yeah. How wasn't he the man to beat? How wasn't he the man to beat? Just like they say, Canelo's man to be. Don't ask me. No, nah, but he, he had the titles. He's true indeed, but it's both fights. <laughs> we all fight. know. It's two, it's two fights was a year apart. He fought Sean Porter and then waited a whole year and fought Danny Garcia. You know what I'm saying? So that wasn't like he just took on like Deontay Wilder and just fought Ortiz and fought Tyson Fury in the same year. You know what I mean? If you're taking a year apart, a year off, that's just like saying, you, you fight a hard fight, then you, in the same year you fight a bomb, and then you fight another hard fight. He just took a year off, so he didn't take the damage for fighting the bomb. That's all he just said. You can't give Keith Thurman no credit for taking on Sean Porter and Danny Garcia back to back because it wasn't back to back. It was year after year. You know what I mean? And then the dude don't have you no. Get, however, however, you, however, however you get it, you get it. He's a man. I mean, he's a man. He, he beat. He beat who was on top at the time. But you give him credit for beating Sean Porter. But Sean Porter wasn't a man. If Keith Thurman would have beat Danny Garcia, who the fuck is Danny I Garcia? I, I Danny feel, Garcia. Listen. I mean, truthfully though, who is Danny? It Garcia? don't matter. It do I mean, hold on. Do I mean, the argument with Terrence it don't matter. It don't matter how you pay. It don't matter how you pay your bills, Q. As long as you pay them. As long as you pay them. Let me tell you Pay your bills. The argument with Terrence Crawford and Keith. Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman saying Terrence Crawford ain't did shit. You feel me? I don't think Terrence Crawford did shit either. But at the same time, I don't think Keith Thurman did shit. You feel me? 
See, Diamond's biggest fight was Ooh. against was against people that Earl Spence beat up, beat up. You feel me? Like Lamar Peterson gave Danny Garcia the world of his fucking life. When, when did Earl Spence beat up Danny Garcia? Kelbrook beat, the, Kelbrook beat the shit out of Sean Porter. When I mean, Earl Spence beat up? Held him. Say, hold on, son. Stand here. No, son, stand over here. He treated that man oh, like a remote control. He treated that man like a car. What is Spirit with him going to see What is Earl Smith beat up Danny Garcia. Shit, I don't even think gonna beat Mike Garcia. But when did he beat up on Danny Garcia? When did this happen? When who? When who beat up on Danny Garcia? When did Earl Smith beat up on Danny Garcia? Not the Earl take his own. Look, Earl Smith beat the people that beat the people that Chief Thurman beat his name off of. I hear your point, but Styles make fights, so they don't hold that much weight. Bro, Ted Crawford beat the shit out of Danny Garcia. Fact. Fact. Danny Garcia don't want to fight Sam Porter. Danny Garcia don't want to fight Terrence Crawford because he feels Terrence Crawford. Is Danny beat, beat up. Danny beat up Terrence Crawford before though. Q, hold up now. They yeah, want to fight him no more. They don't want to fight him no more. That was a long time ago as kids. That was that was an amateur. That was when Terrence Crawford first started boxing. Terrence Crawford yeah, but- at the beginning of his amateur career, he fought that man. That man's on different levels, man. You feel me? He switched hey, out for man. Say, oh, right? man. When when Terrence Crawford come in, man, in action, when them people, when them punches is being swung, Terrence Crawford is getting to the matrix zone, boy. He knows exactly where he landing his punch. He see where he's doing, dog. A lot of fighters don't when they in the midst of action, they can't see what they're doing. The special thing about Terrence Crawford, when he get up in there, he see exactly where he's gonna land. He know what he's gonna do, he know how he's gonna do it. You know what I mean? And Danny Garcia is a good fighter, but we all know Danny, Danny Garcia ain't never been no real Champion that we everybody felt like they could be Danny Garcia. You know what I mean? He was like bait. You know what I mean? He was like he was like bait. <laughs> he was like bait, like a fake let me, worm. Let me, let me tell you this. <laughs> I agree with you. Listen, I agree with you to a certain extent about you know he beat the man and beat the man and beat the man and beat the man and beat the man. But let me tell you, only holds a little bit of weight. The reason I say that is because styles make fights. And that's facts. Yeah, it's the I make fight. We still lie. Man, yeah, we lie. Crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's the, it's the I make fight. I just feel like, you know, Chief Thurman just ain't did enough to me to even talk shit to Terrence Crawford. You know what I mean? He, and at the end of the day, he's, we doing too he's much. done more than Terrence Crawford, though, at, at welterweight. So how are you doing that? What'd he do? He beat, he beat. I mean, he did more, but it ain't been. It ain't, it ain't just major, majorly more. You know what I mean? Terrence Trapper only fought two fights that was the way. Keith Thurman been a lifetime welterweight. Damn there, if he ain't, as long as I know him, he's been a welterweight. As long as I've been watching him, he's been a welterweight. So it's like, bro, we watch Keith Thurman come up. But at the end of the day, Keith Thurman's biggest fight was against Danny Garcia and Sean Porter. So basically, his biggest fight was against Sean Porter. His biggest fight in the world was against Sean Porter. And Terrence Trapper's biggest fought, fight. And Terrence Crawford's biggest fight at 147 was Jeff Horn. Are we serious now? You don't want to do this now. Jeff Horn? Yeah. So you, you don't think Keith yeah. you don't think Keith Thurman you don't think Keith Thurman will put him in a boxing clinic against Jeff Horn? You don't think he would do that? A healthy Keith Thurman will put him in a he'll boxing put, clinic against Jeff Horn. He'll put on a clinic against Jeff Horn. Facts. Can, Look, can Terrence yeah. Crawford beat Sean Porter clearly? I don't know, man. Sean Porter. Yeah, I think he I think I think he I think he'd beat uh Tan uh Sean Porter just as good as anybody else. Probably better than anybody else. <laughs> uh, I'll give you that one. I can he'll see be, I can Tan's probably that one though. I think I think like you said, I think Keith Diamond would You said you think Keith Diamond was a bum? Keith Diamond would be work be a hard fight for Tan Crawford. But at the end of the day, Keith yeah, Diamond yeah. hasn't done nothing. You talk about nobody. You feel me? His resume can't, can't even be even in it. I respectfully disagree. With that. Of course, man, but, uh, resume. You feel me? So, or Canelo, and I don't think Canelo can be shit. You know, for you to be calling yourself number one and feeling like you that guy, you really got to be dropping something. You really got to be doing something out here, man. 
Only my only problem with Keith Thurman is the bullshit with the injury and the um the time off. Other than that, Keith Thurman is a live welterweight. And like Terrence Crawford said, at that time he was the welterweight to be anyway. I mean shit. Yeah. Regardless of what you think about Danny Garcia and Sean Porter, they still top three heavyweights. I mean not heavyweights, welterweights, especially at this at that present time. So end of the day, we've been on this one for a while though. But we both had some good points, you know, good little debate. Mm-hmm. But you already know, man. Keith Thurman has done more at welterweight than Keith Thurman. I mean, in Terrence Crawford, yeah. Yeah, I guess he did. I guess he he had better opportunities. Terrence Crawford is gonna Terrence Crawford gonna be a beast, man. He just fucked up and went and signed with top rank, and it wasn't the smartest decision. You know what I mean? Right. It is what it is. So we gotta deal with it. We gotta live with it. But, um, I think uh, Terrence Crawford got a bright future if he ever can get these fights because he is the man that can give Earl Spence. Trouble for real out of all these cats, you know. So, hell yeah, we just gotta and it's pray that fight is able to happen one day. And we live long enough to see it. Got that. We don't want to see these boys fighting at when Earl Spence 33 and uh, Terrence Crawford 37. You know what I mean? Facts. Moving on from that subject, what do you want to talk about now? Um, what, what's, on the, what's on the menu? What about Tyson Fury and Dylan White? Ooh, yeah. Oh, you want to go first or me? You got that. That's your word. Okay. This is this is why I really, <laughs> I, this is why I really want to to see this fight just in case you know Tyson Fury don't have the rematch with Wilder next or Dillian White don't fight Joshua next, which is, in my opinion, I feel like that's gonna be what's going to happen. But if that don't happen, I was gonna say Dillian White could fight. Huge fight, especially in the UK. Um, you know, Dylan White has a lot of fans. Fury has a lot of fans, plus good trash talkers. So that fight's gonna sell right there, and that fight can wait on the Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder fight because I still see that fight being an exciting fight next. And Deontay Wilder's gonna be a huge underdog because a lot of people think he lost to Fury. So I can't wait to see Deontay Wilder shock the world because, like. Tyson Fury said, Anthony Joshua cannot move like me. And that is a fact, yo. So, so Deontay Wilder ain't got to worry about a motherfucking fighter with great reflexes like Tyson Fury to worry about. Because Tyson Fury is hard to hit. And Deontay Wilder still found the right hand to land. So, but back to Tyson Fury versus Dillian White. We're going to get to that one next. I just feel that'd be a good fight, and it's a good fight that people can wait on. You dig? They can have that fight. It's like a a something while you wait type of fight. So you saying it's easy for Tyson Fury? You saying Tyson Fury gonna win that fight? No problem. Oh no, I'm I'm leaning towards Tyson Fury, but Dillian White, he has a lot of power. He has a lot of power, yo. Nobody has never put Derek Azor to sleep like that. And he really amazed me the way he knocked out Derek Azor clean. So the dude got one punch knockout. Derek Azor was there to be hit. He was right? there to be hit. That's a fact. But Derek Azor has a, a solid chin, too. I mean, Vitaly Tisco Derek, 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 Derek Azor cannot be put on the same pedestal as a Titan. Oh, I never said they were on the same pedestal. Was, Derek Azor was in, good. In, in, in the chin department, but, you can. In the chin department, you can. Huh? In the chin department, you can. You can put them on the same level when it comes down to a chin. Or you can even argue that Derek Azor got a better a better chin than fucking Tyson Fury. Remember, I said you can argue. You can no, argue that. But... No, you can't. You can't argue that. That boy got put to sleep. Tyson Fury just went in there with the hardest hit and punch in the heavyweight division and got put to sleep and woke back up. But, so, but, you know, but, he, but he was yeah, dodging every punch, too. He, how? But he was dodging every punch, too, though. His That's how you gonna eight. Dylan White ain't got no special effects. If he can dodge a wilder, you know he can dodge a Dylan White, but Dylan White got hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold Dylan up. White got up because never, Dylan White got you ne- Q, you never heard your boy Love One said 
You never heard your boy Love One say I was picking Tyson Fury. I mean, I was picking Dillian White. I'm rolling with the Gypsy King now. Don't get it twisted. I, I got the Gypsy King winning the fucking fight now, but I'm just saying it'll be a good fight because Dillian White got some powers over there too. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing Dillian White fight. Uh, you're right. I wouldn't mind seeing him fight uh, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury need a break after taking that uh, head trauma. You know what I mean? But it's a dangerous fight for Tyson Fury. Like you said, Dillian White do have chances of winning, but mm -hmm. I just can't see uh, Tyson Fury letting him get that clean shot off on him. If he nullified uh, Deontay Wilder, I'm pretty sure he can nullify. And, and at the end of the day, they say uh, Tyson Fury made Deontay Wilder look stupid. Deontay, Tyson Fury made Klitschko look stupid. Yep. Tyson Fury made Klitschko look like he couldn't box. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So we dogging, we dogging Wilder. I understand that Wilder don't got no fundamentals, but she look how Klitschko looked out there against him. You know, yeah, what you know he makes <laughs> stupid, bro. And nobody that's think a, about that. You know what I mean? That, they they all dog Wilder out for looking so bad, but shit, everybody looked bad against Tyson Fury. Yeah, man, that's a fact, though. But my, my thing is this. Another thing is, too, they both made each other look stupid, though, Fiore, because anytime you laying on the ground with your your head going, your eyes going to the back of your head, you're not looking very smart. There. So they made each other look <laughs> stupid in that fight, yo. You're not, you're not on the yeah, ground funny. looking smart. It was a funny fight, man. And the fans, the fans that come through here and say the man got robbed robber, it's funny, man. You come, to a, you come to another country, right? You get knocked down <laughs> twice, man. You get knocked down twice, nigga. You ain't get robbed. How you get robbed? You got knocked down twice, bro. You don't even. You should feel bad for getting knocked down twice. Like damn, I got knocked down twice. He deserve another. He deserve a draw, goddamn. Just because he knocked me down twice. Come on, man. They deserve a draw. You know I think a draw was perfect. Yeah, yeah, that was perfect. Nah, to me. I mean, I, if you would have counted the seconds and that knockdown, then you got to give it to Wilder. Go ahead. What you say? That fight can go so many ways. That's why I'm not mad at the draw. Because you can argue that was an early count. I'm not mad at the count, though. It's not Fury's fault, and it's a championship fight. So I'm not mad at the count. But at the same time, though, you can argue that, that Wilder knocked out Fury. You can argue that Fury won the fight. You can, you can argue. Some people is arguing that um, to be the champion, you can't get knocked down two times. You dig? You, yeah. you, can't, you can't get knocked down two times against a champion. You can't. I can't the champion, turf. bro. Undefeated champion. And they at home. You can't get knocked down twice and win that. I don't give a fuck if you win every other round. You can't fuck all I that. Can't. You can't. It's not possible. <laughs> yeah, fuck all that. Let's just be real now. And plus, <laughs> like I said, like I said, I'm going to say this again. If Tyson Fury would have did exactly to Deontay Wilder what Wilder did to him, they would say Tyson Fury won the fight. It would say, oh, Tyson Fury almost knocked Deontay Wilder out, and oh, it was an early count. Oh, yeah, Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury knocked Wilder out. Not if, if Wilder went to the UK, got knocked down twice, but he outboxed exactly. Tyson Fury. Exactly. He lost and Tyson, fight. Exactly. And Tyson Fury was a champ. No way they're gonna see, get Deontay Wilder that. Fight. It didn't got to the point where certain fighters gotta gotta get the knockout, like uh, Earl Spence versus Mike Garcia. He got to get the knockout. Facts. He got to stop Mike Garcia. Facts. Uh, when when, when TDG fight, when TDG fight Canelo, he got to get the knockout. You feel me? He, he got to get the knockout. It's too much money in Canelo for him just to out outbox Canelo. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's just like that, man. It's some some you, you got to knock him out. So Deontay Wilder got to expect to lose a decision. You feel me? And he had the benefit of the doubt is not going to be his. If he don't knock his father out, so that's just the father he is. That's why he he got chances of not going undefeated his whole career. I can see him taking an L, but you in a heavyweight division, you know what I mean? But yeah. that that nuclear button, man, man, and he's clutch though. You know he he do what he gotta do. He, oh, that he's Michael Jordan, clutch. he got that Michael Jordan in him, man. Fourth quarter, man. He know what he gotta do. He did it against Ortiz. He did it against Fury. He gonna knock your ass out when he got to. Like it's no choice. My family online, like he be like my kids, like he think about his whole family and, and think how it's gonna be if he take an L and be like, ain't no way, I'm going to decision. I'm putting this man to sleep. And when he knocked Tyson Fury out, and Tyson Fury got back up. Tyson Fury was still dead. Everybody talking about how Tyson Fury got back together. It took a little minute for Tyson. Man, Fury listen, to get okay, let, let me. Let, let, that's a great point. You, you reminded me of something. That's a great point. Listen, when when Fury got up. 
Go watch this shit. If you are not biased, you're going to say what I'm saying right now is a fact. Jack Reese asked this motherfucker, Tyson Fury, to walk to the ropes and come back to me. As soon as Fury started walking to the ropes, Jack slowly fired. He yeah, didn't he walk the ropes yeah. and walk back. He walked with him to the end of the ropes and said, are you ready? Let's go. Like I said, it ain't Tyson Fury far. I'm not mad at it. But if you go watch that part unbiasedly, unbiasedly, you're going to see Jack Reese say, walk over there and come back to me. Then he starts to follow Tyson Fury. Come on, man. Yeah. So what the fuck is y'all? Man, don't get me started, man. But like I said, people don't like facts. They like fairy tales. It was, it was, it was a discrimination. Put it like that. A lot of discrimination going on right now because if uh, if Tyson Fury would have did no, if Anthony Joshua would have not, uh, Anthony, y'all don't y'all talk bad about America showing how we say we we be robbing y'all over there from the UK when y'all come over here and all that. I understand Lance Lewis did get robbed against the Holy Spirit in that first place, but boy, did we show your boy Tyson Fury love or not? Because yeah. look how Kel Brook. Kel Anthony Brook Joshua reported. fight gets stuck. Anthony Joshua fight gets stopped just like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Kelbrook beat Exactly. Court. But look, look how Anthony, Anthony Joshua was against Top him. Anthony Joshua ain't do shit to Top him. Good he point. Can you imagine Anthony Joshua knocking Deontay Wilder out like that, knocking Deontay Wilder down like that, and he was they, they trying to stop that fight as soon as possible. So don't come to us talking about no American advantage here. We, we be robbing y'all UK fighters. We got y'all, man, 15 to 17 seconds to get his shit together. We don't even give a man exactly. that much time to get that shit together. They get knocked out. They get shot. They look at that. Go right back. You feel me? And why they go out there? And they know that. And they know that. And they know that. And they know that. We show plenty of love to the UK. We let that man get seventeen seconds to wake up. Nigga was sleep. We ain't just wave him. We said, wake up. The referee tapped him on the shoulder. Like, hey, get up, guy. You got enough time? That nigga like, what's up? I'm like, he said, nigga, you can box the ring of wild. And then got up. <laughs> Dressed, got, got up and got dressed on his shoes and washed his face and dressed his teeth. <laughs> God damn it, nigga. Yeah, I'm ready, nigga. Yeah, then nigga took a nap, literally, nigga. Nigga took a power he took a nap. Five, he took a five second, <laughs> a five second power nap. Boy. Let me got. Chill, chill. I gotta ask my UK. I gotta ask my UK people a question. All my UK people are. If you are listening, I need to ask you a question. And all you know, I love, the, I love the UK. I talk about the UK a lot on my channel, and I know a lot of my subscribers is, is from the UK. But let me ask y'all an unbiased question. Let's say Tyson Fury was the champion, right? And Deontay Wilder flew his ass to the UK to fight Tyson Fury. Let's say that happens. Fury is the champion, and he knocks down Deontay Wilder two times and almost puts him to sleep in the last round. And let's just say Deontay Wilder arguably won because Fury didn't ar he didn't clearly win every round against Wilder besides the knockdown round. Y'all want to say, but let's just say that. Let me just give you that. Let me just say that. Ha let's just pretend like that happened. Deontay Wilder wins every round in the UK, and Fury gets two big knockdowns and almost put Wilder to sleep. Has Wilder's eyes in the back of his head for five seconds. Do you really think? Wilder will leave the UK with Fury's titles. Answer that question unbiasedly. They already know the answer, bro. They know that they're going to stop the fight before it even happens in the UK. They know as soon as Wilder hits the ground, they're going to wave it out so that he's all the way knocked out. Especially if you hit the ground. And okay, close. But listen, if you hit the ground, listen, and you close, why did the referee, hold on though, bro. The referee ran up boy. on the man. The man's eyes were asleep. You're supposed to wave your arms instantly. If my son was out there boxing and I seen that nigga get put to sleep, I'm I'm gonna jump in the ring and, and punch the referee for, for keep letting the fight keep going on, bro. Because think Even about it, bro. You see what just happened, man. Even huh? Tyson pops like, like bro, that. for Even real, Tyson. bro. You giving this man? That ain't right, bro. That wasn't that was ain't right at all. But let's just let me look. listen. Let I just give them that. They can have that. The UK fans, they can have that. Let's just say Wilder made the count. Let's just say the, the referee let Wilder make the count. Even if it went the distance, would they have gave Wilder Fury's titles? Answer that question unbiasedly. And they can't. And they know. They can't because they know they don't go to the world. They're going to let Fury 
keep his belts because he was the champion. He was in the UK and he knocked Wilder down twice. Stop, stop pretending like Love One is not speaking facts right now. I know it hurts you that I'm speaking facts, but y'all know that won't fucking happen. So get the fuck up out of here with all that robbery bullshit. We ain't talking about the robbery, man. We show love to that man. We let that man get 17 seconds to get his shit together, man. You know what I mean? In the boxing, in the, in the fight, that's 17 minutes. You know what I mean? So, Wilder, you know, he had enough time to, because if he would have got right up and then they would let Wilder go straight after him, it would have been curved. You know what I mean? If it would have been a regular 10 count, he wouldn't have been able to recover that quick. The man didn't get up till 10. He didn't get up till 10, and then when he got up, his back was turned. He turned around and then touched dude on the shoulder, and then dude said, you know what? I'm going to give you some more time. Go walk over there. Walk back. But I don't trust you to no, walk he, back. I'm going to walk he, over he, here with you. And when you exactly. I'm right here. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then I'm going to say, you ready? Let's go. Fight. And then that man got about, with, with, with all that shit happening, the man got about 17 minutes in the boxing in the, in the boxing fight. You know, you know what I mean? Like That was too many. That was too much time. That's too, that was too much time. And the cool part about it is, I'm not even, I'm not even mad at the time, though. That's not even so, part of it. Calm my motherfucker now. Calm my motherfucker now. Because some people feel why they got too much time in the Ortiz fight. You know what I mean? So, you know, calm my motherfucker. Why they got to deal with his karma? He just got to go back out there in that rematch and handle business. Do his shit. Yeah. And the thing but is, not, yeah, yeah, I heard nothing about Tyson Fury saying that he's going to make the rematch. He's real quiet. You know what I mean? Because yeah. he's thinking about that brain damage. Yeah. You know what I mean? Have 12, what, why don't have 12 more rounds to deal with what he did in the 12th round? Exactly. He's going to have 12 more because fucking rounds. That's a lot. Tyson Fury probably had nightmares of the beginning of that fight. Like, damn, I can't believe I made it through that shit. You know what I mean? Like, to put myself yeah. right back to it. Look, I, I understand, yo. I understand why Tyson Fury might not want to do that right away, man. It makes so much sense to me, man. You know what I mean? But, you know, it, it, like like you said, the, uh, Andre Ward, talking about, talking about uh, Deontay Wilder don't want no more of that smoke shit. It, it goes both Tyson ways. Tyson Fury don't want no more of that smoke. That's the real. Man, Tyson Fury don't, don't want no more. Tyson Fury, you was out, man. Tyson Fury was knocked out for five seconds, yo. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, man. Yo, yes, I'll be rolling back. That's got to be a nightmare. They had to go back in that ring and do another 12 rounds. All, 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 all the dudes in the UK, if John Fury was his trainer, he would. He said he would stop the fight. John Fury, that's why I love John Fury's honesty. He said he would have stopped that fight, yo. Man, anybody he said he would have stopped it. It would have been AJ. Hey, look, if AJ would have been against Tyson Fury and AJ did what Tyson Fury did in the UK, Tyson Fury would have took that L. Tyson Fury would not ask, ask the UK that. Now, if Anthony Joshua would have did what well, Deontay Wilder did to Tyson Fury, who would have took that L? Would, would, would they let Tyson Fury get that long count? They didn't even let Taco get knocked down. Exactly. Tyson Fury that's the, that's first fight back. Right there. Tyson Fury first fight, first fight back. They stopped the fight and he ain't even knock the dude down over in the UK. So the UK you gotta kill that. He got robbed over in the U US and all that shit. But it's all good. I want Wider to go over to the UK and knock the shit out of Tyson Fury. Nobody expected Tyson Fury to do as good as he good did, because we didn't know what to expect. The man been out for two years. Wider can say all he wanna say. Nobody knew what the fuck he was gonna do. The UK people was even dogging him. Eddie Hearns was dogging him for making a fight. He did it. He came in here and surprised everybody. Now we're going to go in this fight unsurprised, and his dad's going to get knocked out. <laughs> USA, baby. Yeah. But, yeah, at the end of the day, nigga have been on this one for a minute, though, but it's, it's, it's just so much of a good topic because we, we just put in the U.K. fans, and I love the U.K., but you guys can't be biased here. You guys know they won't give Fury no fucking W., I mean, they won't give Wilder no fucking Fury's championship belts if he was a champion. They wouldn't give it to Wilder if Tyson Fury knocked down Deontay Wilder two times and almost knocked him out. Fuck. Hey. You're, not finna, you're not finna leave the UK with our belts and get knocked down twice. Hey. Oh, you can't even look yourself in the mirror and tell me love when I'm speaking facts right now. How the fuck? Well, I mean, it's almost to the point where you're not going to get knocked down. 
And, and the fight gonna continue. The referees over there so cupcake, they stopping. They, they they breaking up when they stop really doing punches. The referees jump in and break it up over there. You know what I mean? So let's know you getting knocked down for five seconds with your eyes closed. And the referee giving you a chance to wake up and get back up at the ten count, and then, and then giving you seven more seconds to get the shit together. Come on, man, it's out of control right here. I can't see control. that shit happening. But you know what I can't Nobody see happening. Can. You know, but you know what I can't see happening. No Q. If that shit what? happened in a in the scenario I just said, I could see Tyson Fury getting a twelfth round knockout over Deontay Wilder. If we almost would have put Wilder to sleep like that, oh, I could see that. Anthony Joshua getting a, t- a twelve round knockout over Tyson Fury if it happened like that. See, they ain't get clicked yep. on no chance to get back up after a while. At least they did. But, um, Not Anthony Joshua would knock him out. Man, Fury, I ain't gonna lie. Fury was, I mean, Klitschko was hurt, but Klitschko never gave up though. Yeah. All, I, all I'm saying is, stopped, all I'm saying is. All I'm saying, people, if Fury would have did that to Deontay Wilder, a lot of people would be saying, oh, Fury almost knocked out Deontay Wilder, and it was an early count. Only reason you guys are supporting that early count bullshit is saying it's not because it's Tyson Fury. That's fact. Let me ask you this question right here, bro. Who? What's up, Joe? What fighter? I want you to say off the top. I don't even want you to think long. This is off the top. What fighter this year fought harder fight than the boy Deontay Wilder? What fighter? Woo. I mean, I know you just went undisputed. You just went undisputed. Michael Gar- but who? But Michael who? Garcia has fought. Michael Garcia fought Lipinitz and um, two undefeated fighters, Lipinitz and but um, what's old boy name Pete Robert Jr. But for, don't get it wrong, Wilder has first place in this argument. He place. ain't nobody fought harder fights than Wilder this year. Wilder is the fighter of the year. You know what I mean? We, you know, last year, we, to- last year we gave the GDG. People gave the chance Crawford. But me and you, we gave it GG last year. This year, fight of the year goes to Wilder. The Ortiz fight. Let, and the let me play devil. Let me play devil's advocate because I know some some Wilder haters out there. We're gonna get into that too a little later on. But some Wilder haters out there will say, "Oh, but Tyson Fury wasn't even a hundred percent, and Tyson Fury wasn't. He was having mental Tyson health Fury problems. Was more than hundred percent. He was the best he Man. ever been." He was the best he ever me. been, and, and looked younger than he that, ever looked, and, and lost his, and looked that, more in shape than he was against Klitschko. So what y'all talking about? He wasn't one hundred percent. The boy was one hundred and ten percent, but he probably can go to two hundred percent. So we probably that's haven't right. seen the so, full percentage of Tyson Fury. That's what it is. Tyson Fury been bullshitting, drinking beer, fat, sloppy out there taking boxing as a joke. He knew when he fought Wilder that he had to come in that motherfucker on point, in shape, moving around. He knew he had to nullify that right hand with no jokes, and he still got caught twice. Even though he knew what he had to do, he still got caught slipping two times. So you saying that after taking that damage, he could come in here and beat him in the second fight? It's going to be so much nerve. His family going to be nerve. It's going to be nothing but negative energy around that fight for Tyson Fury. Exactly. Tyson Fury needs to stay back from that fight and hope. AJ can handle Wilder or something like that, so he can fight AJ and get all the champion, all the belts and leave. You know what I mean? By the end of the day, if he ever had to fight Wilder again, it's gonna be the scariest fight of his life. Yeah, I think I think Fury knows that. That's why he's even admitting. And I love his honesty. He's having doubts about taking the rematch right away. He said or something like that. But I don't. I don't want to. Um, I was gonna get back to what I was saying about to the UK people. I was asking them that question about Fury. I was gonna say, um, okay, so so all the people that would say, oh, um, Fury wasn't even a hundred percent, and he still beat Wilder. Okay, so let me ask you this: Who could have beat that Tyson Fury in the heavyweight division right now? Who could beat that Tyson Fury? Clearly, answer that. The Tyson Fury we seen against Wilder. What other heavyweight could do that? Clearly, and if you say Anthony Joshua, because he ain't doing Anthony that, Joshua, he ain't doing that clearly. Anthony Joshua, a walking robot, man. You feel me? So he's gonna do his his fundamentals that he's a master, and you know. He, but Anthony Joshua got that, so that left hand over your head, hold your head down, and catch you with that uppercut. And Tyson yeah, Fury do duck his he, head. He, 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 he won't duck his head. Anthony Joshua got 
uh, Deontay Wilder got the straight right, right? Yeah. Anthony Joshua got the uppercut. He got the master, the killer uppercut. You know what I mean? And when he was fighting Joseph Parker, the referee was trying to save Joseph Parker from that uppercut because like, every time Anthony Joshua got frustrated, he'd throw his hands over Joseph Parker's uh, head and then try to hold his head down and come up with that uppercut. And that's what he's going to try to do to Tyson Fitz. Tyson Fitz is going to be See, the problem is, though, he ain't going to be able to... He, he, I'm not going to lie. Uppercut is the most dangerous sport in the, in the sport of boxing, but the uppercut is very easy to see. So if Fury is able to see while the straight hand all night, he's going to be able to see that uppercut. Uppercut is very hard to land. And not only that, he was holding Parker head down because Joseph Parker is a, um, he a smaller guy than Anthony Joshua. He's not going to be holding Tyson Fury head down like that because Fury is going to be on the outside fighting Anthony Joshua, and he's taller. So, and I know Fury's going to see that uppercut all night. He's going to see that shit coming from a mile away. So, Fury ain't going to be that uppercut all night on fucking Tyson Fury. But if he does, it's a wrap for Tyson Fury because Anthony Joshua does have a very powerful uppercut. That's facts. Tyson Fury people saying that Anthony Joshua don't want no smoke with uh, well, uh, You know what I mean? So, I believe it. I don't think. I don't think it's like a it's like a Kell Brook versus uh, Amir Khan fit. Uh, if Anthony Joshua loses Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury is the king of the UK. So he'd rather take his chances over in the, in the United States just so his hometown, you know, what I mean, boxer don't take his place. So he'd rather go over to the United States and lose to Wilder, or take a chance against Wilder than take a chance against Fury. You know what I mean? And I understand where you're coming from. And that's like cash money and uh no limit. You feel me? Cash money and no limit, they never uh put each other on. You know what I mean? No limit was the, the shit before cash money. You know what I mean? But they act like they didn't even they wasn't even from the same state. You know what I mean? So that's what it is with uh that's what that's what you get with a lot of local fighters. They don't really wanna give the other fighter a chance to take their spot. But at the end of the day, Anthony Joshua's spot is Deontay Wilder's spot. I mean, that is uh, Tyson Fury's spot. Tyson Fury is the real king. Anthony Joshua is the MC Gusto. Yep. He was given the belt. Now the champion is back, and he wants his shit. Is he going to give it to him or not? Is he going to give him a chance to get his shit back or not? Either way it go. Either way it go, Anthony Joshua will be looked at as a lame, but you're going to take a fight against Deontay Wilder and be put to shame. <laughs> He's going to get tired of being number one hated boxing in boxing right now. That's what's going to happen. He's going to demand fights. You, he 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 you got a lot of love, too, though, because you got a lot of people, people who support that act. And yeah. you know how it is. Like, it's like, it's like you ain't got no, when you ain't got no money, you be like, I want money. And then you get money. And you like, damn, I want something else. You know what I mean? It's always I want more something. Money. So now he's like, now, now he's like, yeah, you want more money or you want, you know what I mean? It's like something else is bigger than money that you want. You know what I mean? It might be some petty shit. You might want some good coffee, you got that. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's, it's always something that you're going to want. And it's like, all right, he, he, he had the belts, he had these titles. He's been champion for a year. Now it's time to get born. You know what I mean? What else is it to do? Oh, you got a lot of shit to do. You feel me? You got to convince Eddie Hearns to go ahead and make this deal with Deontay Wilder. Quit trying to cheat this boy. Get this man whatever you want. You know what I mean? If he wants some money, pay the motherfucker. You know what I mean? We got to take dough to make dough. Invest. You know what I mean? We want to bring it to the UK. We know we ain't going to do great pay per view in America if we fight in the UK. So if we do have this fight in the UK, we got to offer this man a percentage. How could you offer Joseph Parker a percentage but not offer Deontay Wilder a percent a flat rate? Like he don't hold the only piece to the puzzle. You know what I mean? I see if you if you only had He's a way bigger draw people. now. Huh? He's a way bigger draw now, so that Fury right. fight made Deontay Wilder a lot more known though, bro. A lot more known. And I'm saying this right. from and I'm saying this, I'm from California. A lot of people, it was true, Fiora was right. A lot of people did not know who Deontay Wilder was. But you got a lot of people talking about 
Deontay Wilder in California right now and said he almost knocked, they like he almost knocked the white boy out. You know, he almost, you, you know, that's what a lot of, because they don't know, like they know who Tyson Fury is, but some people don't, don't know his name. So that, that's what they will say, the <laughs> substitution for that. But you know, a lot of people know Deontay Wilder now and they know that power. And only people in the United States, a lot of people in the UK know who Wilder is now too. Even if you don't like him, you know who the f is, and you're talking about him. So, marinate on that, y'all. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you one thing. I'm telling you one thing. But like, I, I believe like these boxers, if they're not like, say they fight like say uh, Deontay Wilder fight somebody like Dominic Brazil. He shouldn't fight on Showtime. He should fight Dominic Brazil and say he's just fighting a, a, a um, title. Um, mandatory that ain't no that we know you're gonna win. Fight on Fox, build your profile, build your fan base. You know, what I mean, these fighters got to get back. Fight on Fox. I remember Mike Tyson when he first got out of jail, he fought on Fox. You got to fight on the regular TV just to get the regular people back in, in, into sports. See, the weird the NFL is so big. Why you got so many little kids that's dying to go to the NFL and dying to be in the NBA is because the shit is on regular TV. The shit was on, you know what I mean? NBA ain't on regular TV like it used to be, but the NBA is on regular TV. The finals yeah. is, the playoff is, you know what I mean? And that's what it's all about. You you got to bring the sport back. You want to hide the sport with all these apps. What about the kids? I'm talking about the kids. The kids is the future. Yep. Deontay Wilder fighting on regular TV. If he don't fight Anthony Joshua, I scare you, bitch. He needs to fight him on regular TV. Earl Spence, if he ain't fighting, no big fight, he fighting El Campo or, you know what I mean, some shit like that. He needs to fight on regular TV. They need to bring that shit back to the box and use Showtime and, and, and pay the view for, for big fights. You know what I mean? That's just how I feel about that kind of shit. Because I feel like their profile can be bigger. And it, the only way it's going to be bigger is if you guys invest into yourself. You know what I mean? Some people invest into themselves by talking trash. Some people invest into themselves by, um, you know, just, you know, boxing. I mean, uh, hello, you on the phone? I can't hear you. Yeah, I'm so, listening. I pressed mute for a second. I'm listening, though. Oh, I thought you were listening. I thought you were listening. I was talking. Yeah, but you gotta invest in yourself, man. You gotta make them fight for the people to see you, man. The people ain't just everybody ain't got a lot of people ain't got cable no more. You got Hulu, you got Prime Video, you got all kind of shit out where people can actually watch live TV without live cable without having cable. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you, you gotta make the shit. You gotta get the attention. You gotta bring fans. You gotta build boxing. Boxing is at the bottom. Boxing is. A, it's one of the best sports, but it's one of the, you know what I mean, unpopular sports in America. It ain't like it is in the UK. You know what I mean? So them fighting on them fighting on regular TV is key. And you see what happened with the Charlo, they just did two uh two million views. They they kept the attention at one point nine million for three hours. Yeah, that, was, that was so, that was dope. That was dope right there. Yeah, I was so, like, wow. so, so imagine and them fights weren't even expected to be good, but people wanted to go check it out. And it ended up being Yeah, I didn't think class I class. didn't think that many people was gonna tune in. And then Charlo and them, uh, they did their thing, man, with the uh how they uh I think they should make this fight a rematch. I think they should have both fights over. Mm -hmm. And people saying that Car, Car they saying Carball uh beat the beat Jamar Charlo. I'm like no way possible. No, he didn't. Hell no, he didn't. He didn't win that one. He he did good in the beginning. I don't know. Did he start to fade out? I mean, you could probably argue they might have to do a rematch because it was on a Friday notice. He did good for it being on the Friday notice, but he, he didn't win that shit. Yeah, I know. Jamel Charlo won that fight. I mean, Jamal Charlo won that fight. Now, yeah. let's talk about Jamel Charlo. People saying that um, I thought Charlo lost that fight, Joe. Are you good? You Dude, I, watched it. I, I was watching the first. I, I got to the, I just watched it. I've been like talking about real detail. Like when I watched it, I was just, you know, I mean, chill. But when I watched it again, man, uh, I ain't get, I, I'm at the fourth round. But the first few rounds, man, like I think Charlo could have won the first round. Man. He, like, the most, 
the better punches, the harder punches, the most aggressive, the nicer, cleaner punches were landed by Charlo, man. But, you know, your boy did do just enough to edge out the second round or something like that, but he just wasn't, eh, and I'm only on the fourth. I got to watch it over. Again, I had to do something in the middle of the fight. But, man, that fight, man, I don't know, man. But Tony did his thing, man. Tony did his He did his thing. But uh, mm-hmm. I, I just I just think uh, Jamal Chalo got to uh, circle more to the man, right? You know what I mean? And, uh, watch a couple of the Floyd defense, keep his distance, man, and come in there. And when he come in, go off on him. Well, he just got to. And he, he, he probably won that, that other left. estimate. He probably won that other estimate. Fucking um, Harrison a little bit too, man. He did because Tommy Harrison been stopped before. You know what yeah, I mean? You know, so. My child don't been going out there beast the nigga, so he just said like shit, this is gonna be beast the alley. I'm about to beat the dog Duke out there. I'm about to kill this man. It's easy work. And the yeah. man ended up being, you know what I mean, running around the ring like moving around the ring. He didn't run like Canelo. He stayed in the middle. But at the end of the day, Jamar Charo, you know, he he did his thing. I gotta get Tommy Harrison his prop though, because it is a close fight. You could give it anyway. A couple uh punches that you couldn't tell they landed because the referee stepped out of the way or the camera angle when you watch the fight so you know but i don't think all tony heads and punches is clean you know Ch- charlo blocked a lot of them punches that look clean i don't know man i just got to give charlo that win just because of um it was his event and uh taking the loss was more detrimental to him you know they could have made it a draw if anything. But, you know, Tony Harrison got to come in in the second fight. He's going to do way better than he did in that first fight. Because if you come in with the same game plan, I think watching the tape, I think Charlo will can make adjustments and going in with the shit out of him. Easy work. Man, my, I see you sticking to what you said. Yeah, basically. So far, man, just, I, I really just feel like he just had to, you know, he ain't doing enough to beat the boy, man. You know what I mean? Like he's. But you know he missed it, so we, we ain't finna go all the way in. But it was it wasn't a, Tony Harrison. We wanted to pull out another level. You know what I mean? If you did win that fight, you barely won it by the hair on your te- on your teeth. And like like them judges, they don't like and not people. They don't like arrogant black people, man. And that's just true. And I ain't talking trying to do no racist shit. But like Charlo brothers, no, that's it. true. That's facts. You know, they ain't no, that's just that's facts. You know what I mean? So. It's like a cocky uh, Mexican or something, you know what I mean? Stuck up Mexican, we gonna be like, oh, hey, you know what I mean? We gonna be looking at him kind of funny. So you know, they they, they look at us kind of funny. So Charlo gotta go out there. He ain't got the connection that boy really got. And they, he gotta go out there and do his thing. You can't go out there and get no A side Canelo versus uh, lower type of victories, man. You gotta go out there and beat this shit out of your shit. There ain't no, there ain't no uh, benefit of the doubt. They get Canelo. My nigga dog uh Jamar Chalo talking about uh it was higher. He barely got through the cobalt fight. Cobalt ain't been no seven been twelve round fight and all this. And all that. I'm thinking of myself like this, bro. You feel me? That man might have been getting dodged, ducked, something. I don't understand why he ain't never been no twelve round fight. The boy it was was a elite fighter. Cobalt elite fighter. You know what I mean? Then at the end of the day, give Cobalt all the credit in the world for not being ready for uh, Jamal Charlo, but at the end of the day, he knew he was the replacement. He knew he was the backup fighter for that man the whole time. So the whole time, while Cobalt was training, he thinking about Jamal Charlo. He like, I might get that opportunity. And yeah. one out of 75% chance, he ended up getting that opportunity. And he was ready for his opportunity. He came in there and did what he was supposed to do, and I'm proud of that guy. But Jamal Charlo, talking about he don't study tapes, and don't study film, and no, like, no, you, you not Floyd Mayweather. You need to study film. You feel me? You should have been ready for that left. You went out there and your brain was all scattered because your brother just got beat. You felt like your brother got robbed. You feel like you, you lost because he lost. You got a lot of shit going on in your head. So I can understand you not being all the way there in the first round. But you got to be ready for whoever you go in that ring with. You got to study your opponent. You feel me? Floyd might not study his opponent, opponent but you better believe somebody around him studies. When you remember Floyd always say he had people when people trying to camp watching them, giving them the inside on people trying to camp. Floyd was studying. Motherfuckers say they don't watch the niggas. They watch and they study. And Jamar Child, if y'all listening to Floyd and trying to do that, going these fights without studying y'all opponents, y'all gonna get y'all ass with. You know what I mean? Because you gotta study who the hell you going in there with. They said y'all 
Philly. You feel me? GDG was smart. When, when Canelo fucked up, he went and got him a bomb to fight. When this man fucked up, you went and got a harder fight than Willie Monroe to fight. That nigga was harder than Willie Monroe. Willie Monroe way easier than him. Willie Monroe could box a little bit. But at the end of the day, he had no... That man was catching Jamal, man. Jamal proved that he got a chance. Jamal proved that he could make adjustments on the fly. And at the end of the day, he then not knock that man out. You put him in the ring with that man again. It's over. He's knocking that man out. He's going to expect everything. He's going to be ready for him. Like studying film. But he went out there trying to be cocky. Talking about, I don't know nothing about him. I ain't never watched no tape on him. Then you got to watch tape. Floyd can go up in there and adjust. But everybody can't do that shit like Floyd. And ain't nobody Floyd, Floyd is Floyd, and Jamal, you is you. Yep. Yeah, but we been, I think we on a time frame here. We've been on uh, Jamal, Jamal Charlie for the while though. Go ahead. No, I was, um, what else on the menu? Uh, we could talk about the, the, the Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder fight in case if it does happen because the it still happened on April 13th. I'm not going to say it's 100% going to happen, but it is a possibility it, it could happen on April 13th because I feel like, um, what Tyson Fury did to to Deontay Wilder, you know, made the fight close and shit. I feel that that gave Anthony Joshua a little more confidence that I might just be able to beat this dude now. So if he fights on the April 13th, it could be against Deontay Wilder. And people, some people say Dillian White, but we all know the fight we want to see more is Dillian Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua. And that'll be a mega fight. And a lot more people know who Deontay Wilder is now in the UK. Facts. So, Facts. Don't nobody, like, if Tyson Fury don't fight Deontay Wilder, we expect Eddie Hearn, <coughs> team, and Danza, whoever, to offer Deontay Wilder the right amount of money to make the fight. They didn't want to offer the man 40%, so Wilder said he wants 50%. And it makes sense. But they're going to have to offer the man the right amount of money to make the fight just because they try to treat him like he won't work shit. And the man is building his profile by fighting other fighters, fighting big fights, fighting Ortiz, fighting Theory. What is Wilder, what is Anthony Joshua doing? Anthony Joshua is lowering his profile, fighting drug cheap, fighting people he already, he won the title that was vacant from the dude that, that, that Deontay Wilder just questionably beat. Uh, got to draw with, you know what I mean? So it's like Deontay Wilder is growing in type of thing, and Anthony Joshua is, is like somebody who got rich and they don't leave the house no more. They just stay in the house, and you know what I mean? They ain't out there trying to hustle and get no more money no more. They, like it's over with. I made enough money. I got the champions. It's the end of the world, you know what I mean? But it, it's more than it's more than this world, and just you know what I mean? There's more to this world than just. Winning the championships, it's defending the championships. Hell yeah, that's that's a fact. <laughs> Anthony, Joshua, Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn don't need Deontay Wilder fight. You feel me? Win or lose. See, motherfuckers always talking about. See, you make it a big deal if you lose when you make it so hard for the fight to happen. Then it's a big deal. But if you were some G's and would have been made this fight, we would have looked at both of y'all like warriors and been like, whoever lose, we respect them. Just like Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury got knocked out. I, we still had our respect for Tyson Fury. But by these boys acting so cowardly, making the fans argue, you got these weird these trolls acting like they like like Deontay Wilder is ducking Anthony Joshua and all this shit. It's like, dude, but how the fuck you gonna say this man ever ducked Anthony Joshua when this man ducked Deontay Wilder so hard that the heavyweight that really is the champion over there. Had to come out of retirement just to make his country get a little respect. You feel me? Just to give his country some respect, he had to come out of retirement. You know what I mean? And fight this man. <laughs> and you know, you know what's crazy though? Some people, some people actually say that that Anthony Joshua don't need Deontay Wilder. And it's funny to me because they don't realize that they're saying Anthony Joshua don't need to be undisputed. <laughs> These motherfuckers bro, are stupid, yo. Bro, bro, they say they say Anthony Joshua don't need Deontay Wilder, but they in my they in my my comment section begging, begging, begging for Deontay Wilder to fight Anthony Joshua. Mm -hmm. 
Anthony Joshua fans got more faith in him beating Deontay Wilder than he do. They got more want for the fight than Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearns do. Eddie, see, Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearns is trying to, you know what I mean, get a little spotlight out of Piper Fury and Deontay Wilder fight. They coming all the way to America, you know what I mean, doing ESPN, you know what I mean, trying to show their face after these boys that made shit happen. That man was over in Russia trying to make shit happen. You feel me? Don't come over here trying to be like, yeah, I'm the real heavyweight champion. Because, nigga, you don't want to be the real heavyweight champion. You're a paper champion with some titles that was vacant. Simple as. You're not the real heavyweight champion until you beat a Tyson Fury, until you beat a Deontay Wilder. You're not a real heavyweight champion. You beat <laughs> Man, nobody. Could, hey. Nobody. Uh, nobody. Hey. Yeah. Well, he's retired so, now. Until they, until they so, make, until they make, until they force a Tyson Fury fight, until they force a Deontay Wilder fight, it it looks like to me they know that Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder are trying to make a rematch, so they trying to take advantage of it, trying to put pressure on the fight. Like, please make the fight. We need to fight. You're scared to make the fight. The real fight is with me. Yeah, yeah. Now you want to get a little attention. We ain't want to get no attention. We just making your like that fight. You ain't see Deontay Wilder flying over to Russia. After the uh, Bebeki versus the AJ fight or flying over the UK, telling me on their shit after they fight, talking about the winner should be fighting him. Nobody gave a fuck about the shit, the moves that Anthony Joshua was making. It's a nigga, a retired uh, exhibition, Floyd Mayweather versus Tenshin type of shit. You know what I mean? That's exhibition, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Deontay Wilder is making real important fights. Man. You know what I mean? Ortiz, Tyson Fury, important fights. All in the same year. What a classic mm-hmm. year for Deontay Wilder. Put it in the frame. Give him a trophy. Yeah, yeah like I always ass. tell these people to stop hating, man. And, and speaking up. of hate, well, I know this is a this is a terrible question to ask you personally, but not publicly because you could. You, I want you to explain it for the people. Who do you got winning that fight and why? What what fight? Yeah. I mean, I think I think AJ can do a good job boxing him. But you know, at the end of the day, Wilder gonna catch him. And Wilder Wilder's gonna get a little better, man. I think that's how the period fight, man. He's gonna have to you see that he's gonna have to make some adjustments. You know what I mean? It probably right. can't make a mean adjustments, but he's gonna have to make some. And uh he's gonna study that fight. And uh Anthony Joshua is an Olympic boxer gold medalist. He got a nice jab, a nice uppercut. I mean, he got everything he need. He got the power, but him losing all that weight, he's a little skinnier now than he was. He's a little faster, but he gonna be able to handle that right hand for twelve rounds. That's the question. Anybody yeah, can outbox. Let, 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 let me play. Let me play devil's advocate, though. <laughs> let me play devil's advocate, um, because you know I got Wilder, and let me just say Wilder real quick. Um, Wilder carries that power late. AJ is susceptible to, susceptible to right hands, um, and um, he ain't never faced nobody. I think Wilder hits a lot harder than Klitschko, and Wilder proved that against Tyson Fury. Uh, some people may say, "Oh, Tyson Fury wasn't one hundred percent," but you can't train a chin. Either you have it or not. So get out of here with that bullshit. Wilder showed you he hit, he hit harder than Klitschko. And Klitschko did catch Fury with a few right hands. Even though he got complete outbox, he caught Fury with a few straight right hands. And that doctor still hammered and do shit to Tyson Fury. So you see Wilder clearly showed you he hits harder than Klitschko. So that's another reason that I feel like, and he's a better finisher than Klitschko. When Klitschko dropped AJ, he didn't go for the kill. Even Fury said he got happy. You feel me? He oh, continued yeah, to yeah. box. If Wilder hurts that boy, he's going to jump on that boy and he's not going to stop until the referee stops the fucking fight. Now, the or scary Eddie, part about Deontay Wilder fighting in the UK is I can see Anthony Joshua catching Deontay Wilder and dazing him. And oh, yes. The referee yes, trying to yes. stop the fight. Mm. That's scary. The, fairy, the referee trying to stop the that's, fight, that's scary. 
You know what I mean? And um, you know what I mean? And, um, I don't yeah, know. You yeah, know, that's, that's, that's the only thing about scary about they, it. But then I tell you, got a team. He gonna keep going. In America, they're gonna let right. you keep and going. He, and, if you're a champion, they're gonna let you and keep going. You, and Wilder showed. And Wilder showed you he can come back now, even if he yeah, didn't right. come back. Exactly. So, I think they would have to have this on their contract. No early stoppages. It's a championship fight for all the belts. A person has to clearly be knocked out, or the, or the, um, or the team has to throw in the towel. We we can't have no early stoppages. But let me tell you this. Why? Let me tell you this though, Q. This is the reason I feel like Deontay Wilder don't have shit to worry about by going to the UK. Because number one, Deontay Wilder knows he can't beat AJ on the scorecards. Even if he beats AJ every round, which I don't think it happened, he's not leaving UK without a knockout. But Deontay Wilder, all his fights in and knockouts anyway. And even Fiori got knocked out for five seconds. So my point is, Deontay Wilder, his his specialty isn't trying to outbox you, trying to win on the scorecards. His specialty, he don't have to worry about getting robbed. That's what I'm trying to say. Because yeah. why are they going to knock AJ the fuck out? So. And well, I, well, it, it's going to be a knockout. I don't think it's going to go 12 rounds. I think it's going to be uh, somebody it's getting knocked real. out. Somebody you know getting the fuck out. Uh, it'd be an early stoppage on AJ's side. Or uh, why to put that man to sleep. I got water for him to sleep. <laughs> I, I seen it in my dreams. Water for that man to sleep. It's so much, uh, so much passion and so much anger. You know what I mean? Uh, I hope water don't be overexcited out there. You know what I mean? I hope he can stay cool, calm, and come in that motherfucker no, and drop think, that bomb. I don't think he will, though, Q. I think he learned from that in the Fury fight. He got that experience now. He's going to be more poised now. But let me say this now. I ain't biased now. Now, Fury... If um Anthony Joshua catches Wilder with that, uppercut, oh, no, no, no. I can see I Wilder doing a little dance. I can I can see Wilder doing a little dance. And yeah, and I, I, can see, I can see him dancing. I can see him catching on one, but Wilder don't mean it's over. That doesn't see that don't mean it's over. See in the UK, <laughs> a little dance means it's over. You know what I mean? That's the only thing about the UK that scares me. You know what I mean? Now we see how we gave. Tyson Fury, 17 seconds to get his shit together. Now, if Deontay Wilder come over to the UK, we at least expect him to get a 10 count. We don't expect you guys to wave it off and Anthony Joshua throwing a flurry of punches or some shit like that, bro. We don't care. We want to see that man get knocked out or knocked down in the 10 count. Or if he is pretty, Wilder do get caught with shit, stop Anthony Joshua and give Wilder some account, man. I mean, at least get a man a chance, man, because I don't want to... It is possible. That has to be a contract. But let me tell you this. For all the but, people uh, who feel that... Oh, let me just say this, because I was going to say this. To all the people that feel that, oh, Anthony Joshua, if he catches Wilder with that uppercut, it can be over, right? Listen, Wilder has pretty good defense. I'm, I'm telling you guys, you, I, I know boxing. Please believe me. Right, yeah, he keep Wilder, his yeah, he keep, he keep his he keep his distance, and he has good reflexes. He has good reflexes yeah, too. Yeah. Only time Wilder yeah. gets caught is when he's trying to be wild and catch you with that right hand. He's trying to really hurt you. But when Wilder is trying to play dodge mode, he's pretty good at dodging punches. And what man, he gonna be catching them. But and he has good he has fast feet too, so he could definitely use his feet and stay away from that uppercut. What are you saying, Q? Back. Back. It's a good, it's a good said, show right, right here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be real uh, complicated, complicating. Let's but, get to that uh, main event though. Unless you okay, got something else going on. Right? Oh, that's it, really. On that situation, I just think you know, uh, it's gonna be a, a tough fight for um, Deontay Wilder. He's gonna put it on like every fight is tough for him. Anthony Joshua's not gonna be any easy. But Anthony Joshua got a glass jaw. I won't say glass though, yeah, but Wilder Wilder. Wilder Wilder is hurting people with chins now. So I'm not even tripping. I'm not even worried about it. even if he Wilder got is knocking niggas. Wilder's hitting niggas in the back of the ear and knocking their ass out. Wilder's hitting niggas on their forehead and putting them to sleep, dog. Well, that's how yeah. you say niggas get knocked out, getting punched in the forehead. Wilder. Wilder. They just can't you nullify that right hand. 
And you know Anthony Joshua. He's susceptible to that shit. Is a perfect. He's, he's perfect for the right hand. Now I talked to Fury. That little weird shit he was doing. I don't know what the hell he was doing. Shit. Is, like a nigga who can't dance that's trying to dance, you feel me? But that shit was working, you know what I mean? Man, listen, so, you know, you if, gotta give him credit if, for it. If Wilder can catch Fury with the right hand, he can catch AJ. That's enough said. Because Fury is way more ref he has way more reflexes than fucking AJ. Fucking Tyson Fury right, has yeah. good reflexes. And Wilder still caught his ass. And Wilder yeah. has good accuracy. Wilder has good accuracy as well. Ask David Hay. So, and this gets his money. Uh, Wilder got to come in at 122, man. My bad. Well, at least 125, 130, yeah. man. Damn. And then, you can't come in the AJ fight when. You can't come. Wilder can't come into the AJ fight when 108. You feel me? He's going to have to come in that motherfucker some way behind him. And that's going to make it even better. They're going to put more power behind his punches. You know what I mean? He's knocking niggas out and he's handling punches and he's coming in that small, bro. It's like, there's no excuse for Mikey Garcia to come against Earl Spence after seeing Dante Wilder going there against Tyson Fury, 50 pounds bigger against Ortiz. Ortiz was about 30, 40 pounds bigger. And this yeah, man going true. up in there going toe to toe with them. But you, you saying yeah. Mikey Garcia too small, man. Hey, that's, that's it's God all about this power, man. It's not about your heart, man. It's about what you, what you, you know what I mean, what you got in you, man. You feel me? It ain't on you, it's in you, man. It ain't on and it's the belt. This on, it's on AJ. It ain't in AJ. Because if it was in AJ, they would have made the fight. AJ was demanding. AJ would speak with passion. AJ sounded like a, a Hollywood promoter. You feel me? He sounded like he sat in the office and they told him what to say, coach him. And said, when they asked you this, what you gonna say? And he said, I say, he'd say something, they like, no. Say this, you know what I mean? So, man, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, dog. Hell yeah, though. But, uh, man, I'm telling you, though. But they better understand, man. Or Wilder gonna make them understand. But let's go ahead and get to this main <laughs> event, though, man. Because this is yeah, one yeah. that I feel that really must be discussed. Okay, Adrian, what's up? Adrian, my boy, I, let's ask this quick question real quick before we get to the main event. Adrian says, Wilder been dropped by Harold Scornios and rocked by Molina. LOL, who's chin is glass again? Oh, who said, I never said that Anthony Joshua, oh no, he's talking about when you said that he has a glass jaw. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with Q on that one. He, it's not a glass jaw, but it's definitely not the best jaw. But let me tell you this, Adrian. Deontay Wilder is hurting guys with a chin. Take that into consideration. He's hurting guys with a chin. He's giving guys their first knockout losses. And then you say, Eric Molina, come on, man. Any, any man can be hurt. Any man can be hurt. Any, this is the heavyweight division now, Adrian. You know that. Yeah, exactly, dog. This ain't the, this ain't the uh, weight or the light. You know what I mean? Let me check exactly. out. One, 128, 130, 130. 135 division, bro. These boys in the heavyweight division, man. Look, look how big these boys is, man. One punch. You can do good all fight and get caught with one punch, and it's the end of the night. Yep. Fuck the end lights. of your life. Fuck the, night. Fuck the night. End of your life. Look what he did to uh, your boy, man. Put that man in the neck brace, man. No games out here, man. Type of theory, man, is at the hospital right now under the CAT scan, bro. They telling that man, boy, you got a concussion. They said, boy, your brain is shook to the left and shook to the right. And your brain is bruised. You don't need to box no more. But don't tell nobody. You feel me? Tyson Fury fucked up, bro. You talking about, bro, look, bro. It's the headway to be. Deontay Wilder can get put to sleep. Anybody can get put to sleep. Any, in the headway division, anybody can go. That's why it's the most society in the division. Cause anybody can go. But let's go ahead and get to this man. The pit though, Q. The the hate, the hate for Deontay Wilder, man. And I'll talk about from everybody. You dig? For all the people out there that want to say that Deontay Wilder, how can you have respect for a guy who don't have respect for the sweet science? Let's really get into this shit. And Malinaji, probably Malinaji, you be hating on fucking Floyd too, man. We noticed that 
Floyd, I'll tell you why. You know it's that shit too. You're a good, artist, a good commentator and all that, but you do be hating on fucking Deontay Wilder. I don't know why, but you do be doing that. Like, let me give you an example. When Deontay Wilder dropped Tyson Fury, if you notice, Pauli Manalaji didn't say shit. He didn't say shit until Tyson Fury got up. And as he was like, got up. He said that like he was happy he got up. He was like, he got up. Like, come on, listen, listen, Ty, listen, Pauli Manalaji. We noticed that for some reason you don't like Deontay Wilder. And I think it's I don't think Paulie a racist though. I'll give him that. Because he gave Floyd all the props in the fucking world. And actually we dick ride at Floyd sometimes too, if you ask me. But that's another blog. But if you ask me though, I think he is no nah, if you let me tell it, I think he is biased against Deontay Wilder. But I will I think it's for the same reasons we talked about the other day, you off off air. When you said that, um, you know, a lot of people just know how hard it is to box, and Deontay Wilder is just knocking these guys out without knowing how to box really good. So it kind of goes hand in hand. But you know what I know? Well, well, Deontay Wilder Wilder is a victim of boxing being on HBO and Showtime and not on regular TV. You feel me? Because Mm -hmm. Deontay Wilder. He's a, a natural born boxer, but he ain't start boxing till he was 19 years old, and he did it not for the love of boxing, for a uh, reason to help his daughter. He knew that he was a big dude. He's always beat motherfuckers up in high school, always beat motherfuckers up in elementary, known for whooping motherfuckers ass. Was the hottest nigga in his city felt like he was the hottest nigga in his state. He was playing basketball, knocking niggas out on the court. He was like, "Shit, man, I need to go ahead and." Take this shit serious. And you know what I mean? He, off of natural talents, he was able to go to the Olympics within a short time of just starting to box and go win the bronze medal. And then, without a. a, a, a <laughs> without a. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, damn, okay, I'm so. Fine, you got straight scattered bird brain right now. Uh, oh, that happens. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you then, no, I'm saying uh, amateur. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, amateur career. You feel me? Nigga went straight pro and had to and learn straight. as he went. And, and you know, he didn't pick up some shit that unorthodox. Ain't nobody doing. Ain't nobody ever seen before. It's not normal. You know what I mean? It looks like it looks kind of weird. Almost like some karate type of shit. But he being strange. You know what I mean? He like he he, he like in a different stand. You know what I mean? He ain't in the Philly. You know what I mean? He got his own stand. You know what I mean? And, where, that's where he get his power from. That's just how he is. And if he do make too many adjustments, his ass might get knocked out. So, you know, his style, like you said, he got good defense, good head movement. You know, I keep distance, man. And he, you know, stay in reach and keep you in this place. Right yeah, and, and the way he fight, he want to stay back from you so he can get all his <clears throat> on that right. When he's on that straight right, he needs a little air behind him. So he need to stay at distance behind you. So his style works out for his style. And that's to catch you with that right before the end of the night. And Tyson Fury, like you said, is a great boxer. He do his thing. But no matter what you do, it's impossible to stay away. It's impossible to stay away from that right for a whole night. <laughs> right, right. And every time he catches you, even Tyson Fury was saying, oh, um, what he was saying? Oh, do her pass. He took the right hand all night. Fuck it. Um, so I'm going to be able to take it too. And you see what happened. He knocked your ass out worse than he did do a pass. If that shit, shit lands, you got to be like type of series. You got to be on point the whole fight. It ain't no slipping from that ass whipping. Because that man got hit in the back of the head the first time. And it wasn't wild to fuck. It was type of series ducking in. So he hit him in the back of the head. head. You know what I mean? But, you know, why do you just got to study that film and see what he do and know how to throw a little faint? You know, that's what Floyd used to always do. Floyd, the first couple oh, yeah. of rounds, he'll throw he some, needs he'll, to he'll, he'll, great he'll point. play with you. He needs to throw, throw some faint. faint. See what you're going to do. See your reaction. You know what I mean? And you see his reaction is to dive down to your stomach every time you can throw that right. He's trying not to get hit with that right. And that's smart. But it's something that you can do is to get some punch shots. 
off on that match. You feel what I'm saying? But like, you know, a power puncher got to step into his punch. And that's what we've been learning lately with JGG and Canelo and Wild and Fury. You know what I mean? It's hard to, to fight one of them quick people with good feet. A power punch, you got to step into his punch. You, need, you know what I mean? You you gotta get his legs behind his punch, and every time he try to put their legs, place their legs into that power punch, them people like Canelo, Tyson Fury, they move. You know what I mean? So they ain't landing what they be landing on the regular fighters. You feel me? These elite fighters is nullifying the power punches. You know what I mean? And making the power punches go twelve rounds, and they they go they win decisions. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, Deontay Wilder. Is, is on another level. He got that knockout power at any time. It could be the last second in the 12th round. He can go down. Yeah, that's one thing about Wilder, man. Shit, he, he don't even need the last flush. He can still hurt you, man. So he, he always going to be dangerous. But I got a question to all the people that want to say, and this is like the main thing. This is like the peak of this argument right here. I got a question to everybody who want to say, how can, you know, Deontay Wilder fans like him and he don't respect the sweet science. I have I have heard that a lot. You know? I mean it's just, it's just like 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 Floyd shit. Floyd don't Floyd is it's just a new style, man. Let me just uh finish saying this real quick. But I got a question for all y'all though. Wasn't butter being loved? He's not a big fan of the sweet science. Never even threw a jab. Was wasn't Joe Frazier loved? He wasn't a big fan of the sweet science. He didn't throw a great jab. He didn't have a a great one two. Wasn't he loved? Bro, I'm saying Muhammad Muhammad Ali ain't no sweet science. You know what I mean? These boys they change the game. They bring new to the game. They bring new styles to study. You feel me? Exactly. The scientists can study these guys and they die. Study they bones. You feel me? Why was they like this? Why did this work? You know what I mean? When they did this, they tried new shit. Shit had never been tried before. You know what I mean? Muhammad Ali on the ropes and all that shit. You feel me? Floyd Mayweather style. Floyd Mayweather had a style that Adrian Bronner won a minute, but you can't do what Floyd do. You have to be raised as a baby to be able to do what Floyd do. You can't just Shit, hell start yeah. with, before you, you before maybe <laughs> Ken Crawford Ken Crawford can't do what Floyd do. You feel me? Like nobody can do, but but, but but you know everybody got their signature. You know how Ken Crawford can switch from right to left. Who can do that? You feel me? Like you got you got people. Everybody's elite in their own in their own way. You know what I mean? Everybody. That's the thing with 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 a lot of boxing channels and a lot of a lot of people compare themselves with other people. You don't compare yourself with nobody because can't nobody do you better than you. You feel me? Like, you feel what I'm saying though? Like, bro, like, you, you can't yeah, compare I, yeah. a, a great with a great. You know, why? This style is better. This style is better. What, what works fucking works. You know what I mean? Whatever Deontay Wilder do, it fucking works. You feel me? He knocked out more niggas than I, they ain't had what I know. That's one of the best streets and knockouts I know of since I've been busy. You know what I mean? So like it's better than Mike Tyson knockout. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? So like the man doing something that we never seen before. In 2042, it's gonna be a dude that can do what Tyson do. And it's gonna be he's gonna be able to get into the Wilder offense. He's gonna be able to get into the Floyd offense. He's gonna be able to do a lot of shit. But you and, feel me? And this is, this, this, this is no shame on no Mike Tyson though. Oh, no. I'm gonna cut you off, Chew. I'm gonna cut you off, but on the Mike Tyson, this is no shame on Mike Tyson, but they want to say Deontay Wilder fought bums, and but lately he ain't been fighting bums. He been fighting top five heavyweights in his last two fights. So, but back to what I was saying, and he just beat the line, no, he didn't beat the lineal champion, but he defended his title, motherfucker. He did that, but I was saying, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, people want to talk about Mike Tyson and all this shit compared to Deontay Wilder, but Mike Tyson fought a lot of bums too, and he was loved. So my whole thing is, why is Deontay Wilder so hated? And Mike Tyson didn't have a great jab. 
He didn't have a great job. Mike Tyson was Mike Tyson was was good if he would have kept his trainer and trying to win a dial, he would have had the right people behind him. He could have been better than what he ended up being. He ended up getting caught up in the drug life and not doing whatever he wanted to do. He needed discipline the whole time. As soon as he lost discipline, he fought off a of natural talent. And you know, and uh Don King did, did the best he could do for him. He made that man a lot of money. He got that man three hundred million dollar contract back in the nineties. You feel me? Why well, Ram ain't getting nobody three hundred million dollar contract? I could tell her you just got Canelo one for eleven fight deal. I doubt uh uh Mike Tyson did it. Uh, Don King got home was eleven fights. You feel me? These boys is hustlers back in the day. You know what I mean? Everybody dog out Don King, but shit, Don King did what he he got these fighters paid three times what motherfuckers were making in two thousand. You feel me? And what they want to pay the heavyweights to this day. You know what I mean? That man making Muhammad Ali a million dollars in a fight way back in the day. It's like Don King. He made shit happen. Well, back 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 when he gave uh, Ali that million dollars, man, a million dollars is like a hundred million now. You know what I mean? Like the money, the value of money was so high. You can get a, a dime of weed for 10 cents. You can go buy a snicker for a nickel. You know what I mean? Like a million dollars. You see? So, you know, Eddie and them ain't trying to make shit happen. They ain't got it in them. They don't understand to invest you know, the, $20, 30 I mean, million dollars just to make a billion dollars. Eddie Hearn credit, though. Game. And make legendary Eddie shit Hearn happen. Credit, but no, I, don't I don't give Eddie Hearn nothing. I don't give Eddie Hearn nothing. I mean, he I don't has Eddie, Eddie Hearn ain't doing nothing. What have you done since the Kell Brook versus Earl Spence fight? What have you done since the Anthony Joshua versus Okay. Well, okay. But, uh, the Anthony Joshua hey. versus Fletcher Go fight. You, you, all he did was get Anthony uh, uh, Listen, he Eddie Hearns is he on that bullshit. Listen, he and you just said you just said something. So how you gonna say nothing? You can't that just good. take away with the man. That ain't good because that that's good for boxing. You come sign with me, I will guarantee you'll be a champion. Even if I have to make a fight and sell a drug test, or you know what I mean. Eddie Hearns is some bullshit. He is on some bullshit though. Make a title. He guaranteed. Uh, uh, he guaranteed. He, he put pressure on the IBF. To make Danny uh GGG give up that title so Danny Jacobs can get a chance at that title. He made something happen for Billy Joe to throw the drug test. You feel what I'm saying? The man is, is full of shit. Everybody he gets you the title and then it's over. He got Anthony Joshua to fight against Klitschko for all the damn belts. After Klitschko got just lost all the damn belts. I mean the man he got him the uh he got him everything he needed to do. He made all the right moves to get him the easiest way to victory. But it, ain't, it just ain't real. It ain't authentic. It ain't gangster. It's soft. It's horrible. I mean, I understand people that respect it, but the people that respect it, they're the type of people that read ESPN and be no, he you know ain't fooling I mean, me though. TV, no, that's to a, the dance and listen to them Hollywood. You know what I mean? That's channels, a fact you know? though. He ain't fooling me now. That's a fact. He ain't fooling me now with the way he danced around to get his title. Now I give him credit for the um the Klitschko fight, but motherfucker. What's his name? Charles Martin. Yeah. It's a fucking bomb. You don't credit for the Kevin Brook Earl Spence fight, even though the L Brook, even though the no, uh, I'm talking IBM about that fight. But yeah, at least Charles, he made. Martin, Charles Martin is a bum, yo. I don't give him no credit for that. Charles, that was just a, that was, Charles Martin was a paper champion. Yeah, Charles Martin. Yeah, he did everything he could do to to get in position to put his fighter in the in a in a in a to sit on top and feel like he's on top of the world. But they still hasn't finished finished everything. They still got work to do. But you know, like. Man, he just he just ain't like what have he did this year? What big fight? What great fight? Have your boy Eddie Hearn get it this year? What what what, 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 what great event have you done this year? Nothing. He started dancing and ain't did shit for dancing. Pavekin, I give him a little credit for Pavekin, but and nobody y'all watch that shit. Y'all want to y'all want to say Luis Ortiz? No, I ain't talking about. I'm done with Eddie Hearn though. I just said Eddie Hearn has put on. No, I'm saying what have he done this year? They they gave. They gave they gave him promoter of the year. What have you done this year to get promoted of the year? I think Al Heyman should get promoted of the year. Let me say that right Al now. Al Heyman's not a promoter. Al Heyman's not a promoter. Well, shit. <laughs> he he acts like boy though. He he behind the scenes and shit. And you always hear of his name and shit when it comes down to promotion. So if he's not a promoter, he's definitely in a promotion game. 
PVC. Yeah, okay. But, PVC. This ain't PVC. This ain't PVC. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. PVC. Yeah, PVC. So, uh, so what I was gonna say about um Anthony Joshua? Anthony Joshua ain't been in no great fight. But even if you want to say Alexander Povetkin was one, but y'all want to say that was a great fight. But y'all want to put shade on Deontay Wilder's win against Luis Ortiz by saying he was old. But wasn't him and Povetkin the same age? They both was 38, 37. So, I don't know, man. A lot of people are just biased, and they want to, they can't really hate on Deontay Wilder. They want to say he don't respect the sweet science. Okay, he depends on the right hand. Manny Pacquiao depends on the left straight. Man, and he depends on the left hey, straight. Hey, bro, remember, remember when, uh, remember, remember when, uh, I don't know. Like you said, though, Gerald Watson did good against Wilder. Who else did good? Real good against it's, it's, it's a, it's a lot of fighters that did good against Wilder, man. You know, but at the end of the day, the man got to get. He got to get right hand. But the thing about that right hand, he keep fucking his arm up. You know what I mean? He keep fucking it up, man. So, you know, it's how long that arm going to last. That's the question. So, you know, it's, it's very important that Anthony Joshua and them make that fight happen soon as possible. Yeah. I think it should be next. It could be April 13th, man. Let's make that fight happen so we can stop talking. I'm tired of talking about AJ versus um, yeah, Wilder. Well, I ain't heard shit from Tyson Fury, man. Yeah, I'm tired of it too. I just want to see it happen. That, you know, that really would make you just like kind of mad. Whoever loses, <laughs> yeah, whoever loses, yeah, whoever loses, gonna get gonna, gonna get it because they they put so much anticipation on the fight where they they taking the good sportsmanship out of it and making the fans, you know what I mean, beef with each other and people coming to my channel talking crazy to me because. I see the bullshit that Eddie Hearns and Tuck, uh, uh, Anthony Johnson trying to pull. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It ain't my fault, goddamn it. Land your people, man. Goddamn it. You think Tyson Fury came over here and fought, risk fighting that crazy motherfucker for no reason? He did that shit because Anthony Joshua was full of shit. And, and, and Anthony Joshua fans need to put the pressure on, on Eddie Hearns and Deontay Wilder. What's the percentage you think Deontay Wilder deserves? You said, what's the percentage what? Anthony, Deontay Wilder deserved for the Anthony Joshua fight. Desert, like being deserving <laughs> for it? Like deserving, like earning? How like, do you think he deserved? Man, listen, I think he deserved, I think <laughs> out of scale from 1 to 10, like, like, I would say 11. No, 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 know? what's the percent? No, what's the, what's, no, I said, what's the percent? Like 50%, 40%, 30%, 25%, 100, how much? 110%. Nah, you gotta it gotta be fifty. So they gotta split it. Oh, they gonna oh oh the, oh, the, the split. Oh, okay, okay. You did start. Yeah, going so you think it should be a fifty percent? Oh, okay. You, need to be 50, you think it should be a you think you think why should be forty percent or fifty percent? I think I will say sixty forty is cool, but I won't I won't be mad at sixty five thirty five. Yeah, I won't be mad at thirty five percent just because of uh he got all the titles, but you know negotiation. So we shoot yeah. from 45, you know what I mean? Got we end up with 38 to 40. 60, 40 is perfect, though. Because I was going to yeah, say, um, I was going to say 80, 20, but I think the fight with Tyson Fury, I, yeah, listen, at first it was that way. I, I, I just got to be real. I got to look at it from a money standpoint. AJ making, you know, fifty million a fight and Wilder's making three million a fight. So you gotta look at it from that aspect as well. But hear me out though. I think the fight with Tyson Fury, it, it added like at least fifteen percent or twenty percent to Wilder. Being that all the people in the UK know who Wilder is now. And everybody you see Wilder's all over ESPN, he's on late night talk shows and shit like that now. So yeah. At the end of the day, I feel like that fight added 20%. And that's me being nice. I want to say 30%, but I will say 20%. So 60 to 40 is perfect, being that I thought the first fight was 80 to 20. Well, not, not the first fight, but before the Fury fight, I thought it was 80 to 20. But. Yeah, nah, like, but I mean, like, I couldn't get up right on 80 to 20 because the man got the last piece to the puzzle. You feel me? You get Justin Parker. What do you get Justin Parker? Forty percent. You feel me? So yeah, Justin Parker deserves more than Tyson Fury. Uh, Deontay Wilder and Justin Parker. Yeah. And, 
And Deontay Wilder yeah. got a way bigger country behind him than. Great point. But let me. Hold on, let me, let me, let me say something about that part. Him behind him, bro. Look, that's a good point. But that lets you know, and that men lie, woman lie numbers don't. That lets you know that Wilder is a lot more dangerous than Joseph Parker. Because that lets you know shit. that they're more scared. That it, they're I, more scared. Same, same shit. That's that yeah. same shit. Yeah, that's what that, that you know. Yeah, yeah, he's dangerous and they know it. And, and, because, and they scared. And they got fear, so they want they want more money. So basically they're trying to pull an Adrian Bronner and cash out. Yeah. And then like if we if we are they're like if we are going to take that Wilder fight, we're not going to give him a special deal like Joseph Parker because Joseph Parker don't have Wilder power. And Eddie Hearn knows this. But another thing is this, to the 50 million, we, you know what, we got to talk about this 50 million for a minute. I always tell the people this. If Charles Martin somehow pulled 50 million out of his ass, if he somehow did that and he had 50 million to face AJ for a rematch in the U.S., do you really? Do you really? I ain't never heard nobody say it like that. And hey, that's it, though. He broke it. He broke the Davinci Code. And you feel me? Charles Martin had fifty million dollars with the last title, and he said, "AJ, <laughs> come on with me and fight this fight." You think AJ would have turned that fight down? Yeah, no, he didn't shut no. us down that one. Like you feel we didn't me? Shut he down wouldn't have done it. You didn't, you didn't broke you it, bro. You need to make a video on I, that. I, one. You need to make a video on that one. Though. Hey, Lord, we need to make a video on that. If Charles Martin, hold on, hold on. If Quebec, if Quebec is American, yeah. No, no, Joseph Parker. We want to do Joseph Parker. No, Dylan White. Just, just say Dylan White. Just, just, just say Dylan White. No, look, Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker will understand. If Joseph Joseph Parker, <laughs> right. yeah, oh, that man, fifty million dollars to come to New Zealand to take that fight. You trying to tell me he would have turned that fifty million dollars down to go to New Zealand, New Zealand to fight Joseph Parker? Bro, Hell, yeah, he would. Hell yeah, he would. matter of fact, matter of fact, he probably would have told Joseph Parker, "Fuck it, give me thirty, I'm coming." <laughs> give me thirty mil, I'll be out there in New Zealand. That man, bro, come on, bro. That man, fear, bro. It's nothing but fear. Anthony Joshua fans have nothing but fear. You feel me? Y'all y'all talking about ducking, bro. Y'all is exposed to the last degree. If a, This is to all Deontay Wilder fans. If, if some an Anthony Joshua fan come to you and say, and say Deontay Wilder duck, you tell them this. Look, if Joseph Parker lived in the, was an American boxer <laughs> with the skin that Joseph Parker got, with the look, the same skin tone that Joseph Parker is, no, no, no race changes, Joseph Parker that we know, if he was an American and he offered... That boy Anthony Joshua, fifty million dollars to come to America and fight. You said that he would have turned that fight down. Hell no. Hell he no. The, you guys gotta he understand. Won he won a hundred million. The deal he breaker. two hundred million. Was where the fight was at. That was a deal breaker now. Because no, the fight was the money. That, that fifty million. No, 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 and that no, no, was, no. And that was that a deal breaker. That was a deal breaker then, too. Because if Wilder would have, if Wilder would have paid those fifty million and go to the UK, the fight would have been done. It was the fact that he had to fly out here. Why to do would he pay on fifty million not to go to the UK? That's stupid as hell. That's stupid. Yeah, that is stupid. That would be dumb as hell. They, they, they want to bring him to the UK. They want to bring it to Vegas because they know that in Vegas you got the hotels, you got the casinos. These people, they gonna get a percentage of everything that these casinos make. They gonna get a percentage of everything these hotels make. You feel me? They gonna get a percentage of everything going on in Vegas before the fight even happens. You feel me? Yep. So they gonna look. sit at a big ass round table with all the bosses in Vegas and be like, we're gonna bring this fight here. So there's gonna be so much money made around the fight that they can afford to pay that man fifty million dollars. But you think they finna pay that man fifty million dollars and then go to the UK? That don't even then come on, bro. But you know, at the end of the day, that just that just, that just proved that Eddie Hines number was, was clowns for only offering Deontay Wilder twelve million dollars like this fight that they did. <laughs> We like right. we just call they fuck like yo this fight can't be made. What are you talking about? What are you fifty fuck million that. dollars in? And you think this fight is only worth <laughs> our fight to get twelve million dollars? We're gonna give your fight fifty million dollars, and then we're gonna go split. We're gonna split everything else. So you're gonna get more than fifty million dollars. You're gonna get your fifty, and we're gonna split. That's how much money right. we think this fight gonna make. <laughs> right. We're gonna make billions. Now what the fuck are you talking about? 
damn twelve million dollars, nigga. We got a show time to pay. We got everybody got damn pay. Al Hammond gotta get his percentage. The trainer gotta get his percentage. What the hell you talking about, man? Twelve million dollars. Like we got some more. Like we ain't got the only goat to make an undisputed champion. It's some shit that ain't been done in the last twenty years, man. Trying to make history around here, man. Legendary shit. Man, y'all niggas full of it, man. Y'all gonna have to. Look, hey. you know, take this shit. Uh, y'all don't want to do nothing. Y'all don't want to do shit. Shut up. We, we don't need that shit. Y'all don't want to do nothing. Hey, what we going to do, man? We got to figure out something else. Type of thing like, I'm sorry, Wilder. I'm sorry. I'm, I, 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 we're not like this in the UK. We're not like this in the UK. We're Jesus in the UK. This guy right here is not one of us. You know what I mean? I'm going to come and fight you. And everybody like, yeah, right. Whatever, Tyson. Yeah, whatever, man. You know, what I mean? yeah, we like, we like, all right, Tyson. We like, Tyson. Go ahead, go ahead, and, go ahead and fight somebody else before you fight us. You only fought one fight. We want you to make another fight. I'll make another fight in a couple of weeks. And I'm gonna prove to you that uh, I'm ready for you. That nigga fought that dude. We were like, what the hell is this shit? Whatever, Tyson. You sure you want to do this? <laughs> yeah, I want to do this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna win. We like, what the fuck? We just happy you doing it, Tyson. We just happy to see you back. You know what I mean? But he came through, he represented me. But you know, it, it, it's gonna be a whole other story next fight. Where like, you know, Deontay Anthony Joshua was an embarrassment. You know, and they hold everything they did to being lame, being seen through. If it had been 1995, 1993, they would have got away with that shit. But now with the internet, with the uh, people speaking, it's it, you're not gonna get away with it. Cause uh, you know, you can't pay us. You feel me? And start paying us. Maybe motherfuckers be a little nicer, but. You know, you're not paying us. We're just doing it for the love of the sport. Are y'all doing it for the love of the money? Yeah. Oh, that was hot as hell, yo. That was some dumb ass shit. See, we do this shit for the love of the sport. They do it for the love of the money. That's what's this. No, that's ass. the difference. It's that's flat. the difference. You feel me? Yeah. YouTube yeah. hates yeah. people like us. They hate us. They don't promote people like us. Well, they know what they're doing, Q, you know. We're just going to let them be weirdos, though. We the bad guy. We the bad guy. Uh, we, uh, we, we destroyed this one, though. Yeah, man, we've been on the road too long, man. It's time to get off the street. <laughs> you got anything else yeah. you want to talk about? Oh, yeah, I just want to say, man, get stop handing on Deontay Wilder give him his credit, man. Deontay Wilder is a beast. And if he wasn't a beast, he wouldn't have an official green WBC and if he wasn't a beast, Fury would have clearly beat him. And if he wasn't a beast, Luis Ortiz would have definitely beat him too. So, back, get on there with all that shit, back. y'all. And don't forget, you want to talk about how, how, how Fury made Wilder look bad. Don't forget, Fury is elite. He's, a, he's something we've never seen before. You say Wilder ain't, ain't, ain't a typical boxer. Fury ain't a typical boxer either with that herky jerky, uncoordinated looking, entire dance moves he be doing out there. You feel me? But at the end of the day, Tyson Fury made Klitschko look j- just as bad or even. Matter of fact, Tyson Fury made Klitschko look worse <laughs> than crazy. Deontay Wilder. And ain't that some shit? Damn, that's some shit. Okay. He, made, yeah, one... he, made, he made Klitschko the one, uh, one of the most, you know what I mean, sound boxes ever. Look yeah, terrible. Yeah. So you want to say he made Wilder look terrible? No. Anybody that fight that man, you feel me? Gonna be a little confused out there, like can't be real. As y'all know, Fury was ready for water that day too. No, I was gonna say we're gonna take a few questions because my boy Skip Sailor say, "What do y'all think? Do y'all think AB is gonna cash out against Pacquiao? Water did clearly get beat by Fury. No, he did it. Skip Sailor, you listen. We said this earlier. We talked about that earlier in the beginning of the show. I don't think he was here. We destroyed that argument in the beginning of the show." Okay, so you gotta watch the show over again, and we, me and Q, are breaking it down on why he did not clearly lose the fury. But to your other question, you put wait, y'all think AB is cashing out against Pac? Yes, I definitely think he's cashing out against Pac, especially now that he's having legal troubles right now. Maybe he feels like you know who care, who care, who really cares right now? Who cares? I'm gonna get a big fat paycheck against Manny Pacquiao, and that's that. So maybe you know I mean, that's, the only thing, that's, that's the only thing Adrian Brown is saying. He, he said to he keep on saying that you know what I mean this, the money gonna change his life. He's gonna buy the whole neighborhood. 
people won't be straight after this fight. These words that came out of his own mouth. You feel me? He more worried about the man cheating at a drug test than, you know what I mean, getting ready for this fight. And it looks like he's just now getting in shape during his training camp. Mm -hmm. He's not dedicated. He fight for the money. You know what I mean? People like Floyd, they stayed in shape the whole year, jog dog year. You know, AB rather party all year and only get in shape during his fight. You know what I mean? After his fights, he celebrates because he know he gets to go back to party to the next fight. They, you know what I mean? So, you know, he know what it is, man. And I was just watching the Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather fight. Man, Manny Pacquiao is just too much, man. Manny Pacquiao is too motherfucking much for Adrian Brown. He and is 40, everybody though. knows this is a cash out, man. This is a blood sacrifice, man. This man is going to be sacrificed, man, like a lamb. <laughs> man, we finna drink this man blood in a cup and pass it around. You feel me? Yeah, we finna go to war. Spooky, this is like the, like the Vikings. You know how the Vikings, they need somebody to sacrifice it. Al Hammond needs somebody to sacrifice it. And that boy, Adrian Bronner, sacrificed his life for his family. Al Hammond said, there's nothing more I can do for you. You can't fight the 147 division anymore. You you really don't have a weight class, you know what I mean? I mean you can't you're not talking and mentioned in the names of the Earl Spencer, the Keith Thomas, the Sean Porters anymore. I mean, I know I fucked you up, but now that you signed that Rock Nation deal, so you know I'm gonna do this favor for you. Manny Pacquiao's coming. I'm gonna let you get that fight. We're gonna put it on heavy view. You gonna get the living shit beat out you. I know you had no chance of winning. At least you get a lucky knockout. But, but hey, you're gonna make enough money. And when you make this money, A B, don't go out there and be partying and throwing money down in the damn toilet. You better he invest gonna, he gonna, if he beat Pacquiao, he nah, you better invest now. You talk, you, talk, you better invest this money and put it into your family. By the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah man. For real. Estate. For real. This, this is it, A B. After this, man, you you fuck. You you ain't gonna this boy finna beat you so bad that ain't no you gonna lose all your buzz. Manny Pacquiao is gonna beat the shit out of him. If he beat Manny Pacquiao, it's a whole nother story. But a, what, it's a, what? That's a whole nother radio call right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole nother radio. It's gonna be so much fights lined up for AB. Some of those people, it's gonna be so many fades waiting for AB if he beats Pacquiao. Yeah. Even even the Floyd Mayweather now. So that's gonna make AB. Uh, I feel, I feel that. Skip, Skip Sailor said, you know, he said he don't know. He think AB can stop Pacquiao. I understand what you're saying. I feel like that too. I made a video saying one punch. You know what I mean? Lucky punch. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah. Let me yeah. Let me and let me say this too. AB, on the other hand, he's trying to accuse Manny Pacquiao for being on steroids. But I believe in this. Sometimes you have to blame the accuser. How we know AB might not be trying to. You know, take a little juice from the side to get Pacquiao up out of there. <laughs> yeah, so y'all ain't thinking yeah, about that. Yeah. Up. <laughs> hey, AB don't need to be worried about it. Man, Pacquiao would beat AB without steroids. He fought Floyd without steroids. He was still running that ring going crazy. And AB ain't got the defense Floyd. Floyd had to be on his shit that whole fucking fight, bro. Floyd Hell yeah. was on point the whole fight. Floyd, like, like Floyd, if Floyd was a heavyweight. He probably could beat Deontay Wilder because Floyd can go a whole 12 rounds without uh, being being perfect. You know what I mean? And that, that was a hard fight for Floyd, man. That man was throwing, like, gunshots at that, man. Floyd was in the Matrix in that fight, man. Yeah, he had AB to be. ain't got no head movement. He ain't got no his feet move, his foot movement. That man from the attack on be jumping in, jumping out, jumping around. Oh, my God, dog. I feel sorry for AB, man. Yeah. It's, that, that's why it's kind of spooky for AB, man. Because Pacquiao has the style that he can really hurt AB. Really AB ain't gonna be able to load up on his punches. Hey, they show AB sparring some dude. Man, that shit was funny as hell, dude. Who is this dude? AB sparring, man. That shit was like funny as hell, bro. What? Anyway, what? He was looking back. I mean, nah, AB was beating the shit out of him, but dude, ain't no Pacquiao. You know what I mean? Pacquiao is a whole nother animal. Um. I mean, like. <laughs> A whole nother, yeah. Like Jeff Horn, bro. Pacquiao was playing against Jeff Horn. If you go watch that Jeff Horn Pacquiao fight, Pacquiao ain't never looked like that, dog. He ain't had no serious face. He was out there smiling, laying on the ropes and shit, like Floyd and shit. It was just like, it wasn't a normal Manny Pacquiao. 
And then Jeff Horn was dirty with the head button and all that shit. AB ain't finna come in. AB ain't dirty like that. You know what I mean? AB finna come in there and try to go toe to toe. And then once he feel Manny Pacquiao, he gonna go on guard defensive mode like he did again. Like you guys see. Don't forget, Manny Pacquiao hit Lucas Matisse so hard that Lucas Matisse took two steps back and then took a knee <laughs> without getting hit. Nigga, you know what I mean? Like, hold on. That's it. Damn, you mock me at the 20 yard line, goddamn. I don't want to run, goddamn. You know what I mean? So, you know, that boy Manny Pacquiao got power in the, in the angles. Luma check out angles, moving the ground, speed, jumping up and down. Man, that's too much for AB, bro. AB ain't got no chance, man. He's a blood sacrifice, man. Yep. I got an idea for a video. I'll make a video of a sacrifice. <laughs> hey, that, hey, you got to store that topic for next week, y'all. Because I, you know. <laughs> The sacrifice. A.V. is the sacrifice of our A.V. You know, we got to sacrifice to go to the next level. We got to sacrifice somebody to go to the next hey, level. Man. And we want to take man. over boxing. We want to bring we, boxing back. So we going to sacrifice A.V. We're going to make him wait on that. We're going to make him wait on that. Next week, we're going to get our son to wait on. Next week, we're going to break that down. But I was going to say my, um, yeah, yeah. my company outside, though, cute. Yeah, all right, we out, man. We've been on this one too damn long, like two hours strong. I'd like to thank you yeah, guys yeah. for coming to QC World. It's been a blast. And don't forget to subscribe to Love One, Hate One. I don't know if I want you to subscribe to me, you know what I mean? You ain't 100, man, you know what I mean? We got the real ones over here, man. QC World, the heart of the world, man. You dig what I'm saying? Subscribe, you know, and stay alive, man. That part right there, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to QC, your boy Love One, the Hate One. Let's talk about some real shit. Well, we already talked about that real shit. And that's it. You know, that's it. <laughs> Let's talk about some real shit. That nigga really talking about some real shit. You're a funny guy, though. <laughs>